Crunchy, crunchy. Mm, munchy, munchy. Wow. Hello and welcome to Not 40, Just Blank, a podcast where we take you back in time, through the years and discuss all the weird and wonderful events within it, which we think make it so memorable. Each episode sees us chatting through all the news events, sports, TV, film and music of a particular year, as well as the odd and funny personal stuff we can remember. Come and join us on our journey through the 90s here on Not 40, Just Blank. Well, I'm feeling supersonic. Give me a gin and tonic. And now I'm ready for another episode of Not Faulty, Just Blank. On this episode, we'll be turning our eyes towards 1994. And oh my days, what a year it was. Joining me to natter on, as ever, are Phil and Rich. How are you, boys? Yeah. Pumped yeah. for this one? <laughs> Tip top. <laughs> Humps. That Pumped is... That's powerful. Um. He looks good, viewers. He looks good. (laughs) Right, let's get on with this then, shall we? Um, We find ourselves in 1994. It's our final year of senior school, so thoughts are turning towards exams, upcoming freedom, and our next steps into the big wide world. Any initial thoughts? Del, as ever, I'm going to start with you. (laughs) Yes, mate, like you say, um, exams, final year of school. um, Yeah, it was kind of like, I don't know about you boys, but parties and things like that were starting to come up as well. Started to get a tastes of a certain flavour of stuff. Um, I don't know. When, do you remember? <laughs> that sounds so suspicious. <laughs> Is that so? Was this heroin? <laughs> a little bit. No. <laughs> Look, get under to the spot, K- Carly. K- no. K-Sider, right? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I Do you remember the guy, Psycho Tell? The, the name rings a bell. Do you remember? Psycho Tell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't know him as that at no. school. It was, that was the name he kind of got later on, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I remember like buying a two-litre bottle of uh, cider for him for two pounds and I stayed in to watch the West Ham versus Luton FA Cup quarter final that is a day I drunk the whole lot mate and then (laughs) I do not remember all I remember was waking up almost choking on my own vomit it's impressive (laughs) if you remember the game though yeah well yeah that's the whole thing because I remember the plan because I had to wait till my mum and dad I suppose it's quite rare West Ham gets caught final so (laughs) yeah exactly well we remember pretty much the thing is I had no concept of alcohol as well so I didn't know like what how much you was meant to have so what was this was cider it was yeah of homemade cider it was two litres I drunk two litres of it that's enough to kill a dog isn't it Oh, mate, I was so rough afterwards as well. And oh, I well. managed to blag a day off school because my mum actually thought I had like a stomach oh, bug. Yeah, under but the weather, love. Well, yeah. I actually called out for her at like three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> oh, which is pretty you amazing. You know it's bad news when that's Yeah, oh, like, mate, 100%. Oh, especially when it's, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> yeah, oh, You just regress properly. <laughs> pretty much. Um, other things, stupid things I remember in that year was, uh, you'll remember this well, Phil. Um, not, not too sure if you'll remember it. Uh, Jim, but I um, I told my I told my mates that my dad used to be a wrestler, and um, <laughs> it was uh, he did he did generally used to be a wrestler like as in an amateur wrestler. Yeah. But these were like the, the heights of like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, weren't they? Yeah. And it was kind of like um, yeah, they weren't really that forgiving, were they? You you would come up. What was the name? Do you remember the nickname you come up? Because I remember it. I you think know? so, yeah. yeah go on. Do you want used to, to spell out dad as well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Do you want, uh, do you want, do you want um, go on. Dirty Alan Dello, I think it was. It? <laughs> yeah, Dirty Alan Dello. And then you had the, the Destroyer on afterwards <laughs> as well. And um, people would say things like, oh, I think he, the only thing he's wrestling with is his sexuality. And, oh. like, does it, he wears a mask, knee-high boots, lycra, mm. all, all that crap. But uh, yes, I remember that. I mean, they were so, pretty much on, on the point, weren't they? Oh, 100%. He loved yeah. those knee-highs, your dad. Yeah, he was just looking for... He had the legs partner. for it though. To be he fair. had the legs, but he didn't have the tag team partner. He was always <laughs> well, he was always on the lookout. That's, that is, uh, that's always the story of your life, isn't it? Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, I well, wish I'd have been his manager. Got with, the legs, like, on a, like a Jimmy Hart with a microphone type yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I could I, I, see that. I was looking for it, but no tag team partner. We even put the ad in the Echo, and uh, no one, and no one come back. back. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I say, and the other thing was like things like parties as well, um, and then building up to sort of like I don't know end of year, the last day of school with like the signing of the, uh, the shirts as yeah. well. Like as if we were like couldn't couldn't wait <laughs> to get there. It was like oh is this it? We, we <laughs> say signing of the shirts most of the time. It's it just, was someone just, just broke on massive or, dicks. Yeah. 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 It was a big end climax though the last few months because really you, you all yeah. had like study leave. So yes, yeah, you, you went, went in at different awful, times. Yeah, yeah, didn't you? Right. And it was it was yeah. literally go in, do your exam. And the only time again. you saw people, you were stressed out your mind yeah. for an exam, weren't you? So it was like there was yeah, no enjoyment. It was it was really bizarre, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it was the relief at the end of it all, and knowing you had kind of a summer where you could just properly. 
do as little as you wanted almost. Yeah. And then make some decisions. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, that was like kind of the roundup of the school years. And then the rest of it was revolved around, again, hanging around in parts. The big quest <laughs> that I had, just, you know. Just year after circle. Year, year. But, but full year circle. Year after year But I'm not after now. Year. Now, I'm not looking for Paul Mags. Oh, like, no, the rest. I'm looking for the films. And it, it, and it was the dad's films around mate's houses. Their dad always had a porno. And it was to scope it out. And some of them were really messed up. Like I remember watching one around a mate's house. It was actually a girl who used to drink down the Hoy and Helmet and they took her over like Ben Fleet Downs. Well, it was like it a was home video. Like, oh, yeah, pretty much. And it was, it was just proper uneasy. Because, I mean, like apart from that, you was trying to get a, like a little sort of snippet of whatever. And it was like generally sort of most, most dads would have like a genuine proper porn film. But this one was just like a proper sort of like bootleg sort of cut, mate. So, mm. yes, I don't know if you guys were... Sort was, of the, was not part of that. Not no, part no. of that game. I don't, I don't think you can pin that no, on stuff. You must have been part of the underage drinking, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Jim, you always yeah, like rock yeah. the, the I mean, the fortunately, yeah, I was, I was lucky to be tall, quite deep voice. I looked a lot older than I No, I was I the one who had to was. buy the uh, fake ID. So, yeah, I was... <laughs> you mean, like, the Groucho mask. Yeah, the Groucho <laughs> Mas- that, massive yeah. fake moustache. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was the one. We started what, yeah, knocking around... Essentially, just after school and into the evening, and just sitting on walls and just looking for yeah, the opportunity kind of to like, buy a booze. So it was just waiting for the first person to be sick, really, wasn't it? Essentially, MD yeah. twenty twenty, wasn't it? Yeah, that case ciders or yeah. Yeah, white lightning oh, or anything now. grim. Yeah. yeah, but I remember that. I'm just going around to like, was it Gav Lee Allen's house, and we sat right. in his garage and just yeah, just having drinking sort of like, beers and it's, stuff. It's just. I mean, got, it's pretty tragic, but it's the best that you had at the time. Well, you've got a horrible mm. gap, haven't you, between, before you can be properly served from 16 to 18. Yeah, a tough you weren't one. willing to risk it in a pub no. just after school. But, yeah. And that's when sort of like the parks come into the place, drinking mm. over the parks. The thing I was going to bring up was um, Mr Langley. I don't yeah, know yeah, if you... Uh, that, yeah. so, but, so Mr Langley is... so. Did there's I, a bit I of actually a, know you guys in school? Yeah, no, I don't remember anything of this. So this is a bit of a back history. I remember like speaking to Mr Jones, the deputy head... Him I do remember. ...once in science, and he told us about Mr Langley, used to be a PE teacher that right. ran along the A13, and he got run Canby over. Way, I think. Oh, Canby Way, OK. But yeah, got... And he got run over, didn't he? And then, so that, that was that. No one really thought of it. And there was all these rumours going around... Mm. And then one night we was over the park. We had a shitload of beer and I don't know what else. And we was and cutting then, through Appleton School. We was actually cutting through the school. What when we when, when we, we saw, saw him. him? Yeah, yeah. So we was cutting. So there was rumours of a ghost of Mr. Langley. He used sure. to run around. He got run over whilst running. So evidently this ghost runs around the school field, just forever trapped. Yeah, running, forever trapped. Jogging. And we was literally and, and there must have been about twenty of us. Oh yeah, there was, a, there was a big yeah. group of yeah. us, and we was running. We were going through the school. So it's all playground. dark. Yeah, it's all dark. Yeah. Winter must have been. And there was a figure running on the field. And it was actually outside the fence. Because you could see the um, mm. street light shine on him. And then he just cut in, didn't he? Cut yeah. through the fence. There was no gate what there. What ran through the yeah. fence. Okay. And, like, and it was, it was so like, All of us saw yeah. it. And we all like legged it. And I, I think it was Bishop, Bishop ran it? after yeah. him. And he and he's just like come b- running back. When he disappeared, he's gone. He's yeah, gone. It, it, mate, really, like, it was it was, freaky, it was the most it? freakiest it was thing, like, yeah. Oh, and like, yeah, not that probably like what we'd had. Like, if we'd have like spoken to the police, they would have totally oh, yeah, laughed. Yeah, if there was one or two of us, we'd just say it was me and you. Yeah. We'd have probably talked to ourselves that we ever saw. Yeah, it'd be course. like, be like what? Yeah, I don't know, but it was yeah. there was a big group of it's us. About 30, it. 30 of us, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah and it, it was, was, wasn't it? It was so. weird. Yeah, that was bizarre. So that was the kind of thing. Other than that, it's just sort of yeah, hanging around parks. I remember like the real, real world bringing it, being brought into the real world. Yeah, just um. Getting beaten up a couple of times as well, sort of like over the park and stuff. And then once I remember, I used to wear all like the spliffy gear. Do you remember that yeah, stuff? Yeah. So I remember wearing that outside. Um, I got off the train at South and Central, walked down there, and there was this guy who just saw me wearing this gear, and he came up to me and he just pretty much said, "I'm from C18. Do you know what that is?" And before I went, blah 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 blah, <laughs> blah he just turned around and just like swung. Just but luckily. Like he, uh, he, I could see a mile, mile coming off. So it's just like things like that be coming into the real world. Yeah. Suddenly, like because you've kind of got the body of a, a grown up, essentially. Haven't you you've got the body of the grown a, up. You've got a bit of attitude, but yeah, you realise that attitude doesn't still, hold well yeah. in the real world and with like thirty five year old men or whatever. However yeah, old this guy was, mate. So yeah, yeah like I say, yeah. big realisation sort of thing with that. But um, yeah, again, that's really sort of my sort of um, 
recollection of that sort of time. But it still wasn't... remembers so much more than either of us. It's mm. Also, the Tarpots nice. pub. Do you remember that? But it's now like a harvester. Yeah. But yeah. Tarpots pub. It used to be great for going there for underage drinking. Yeah. And I remember going there. It's like the equivalent of like Moss Ice Leaf and Star Wars. Like it's proper <laughs> like rough pub, kicking off all the time. Yeah. And I remember there was like some like plumber guy who used to look like giant haystacks. Yeah. They just like. Every time you bent over, it just still like a raspberry, and it was just the most fucking going, <laughs> quality dad going, gagging, ooh, like that sort of huh? stuff, and it'd be like proper quinge. To be fair, I do that but now you... to my kids, and it really yeah. Like, every, <laughs> really? like every, every time they you, bend you've over, you've turned into the raspberry <laughs> blower, like, the phantom <laughs> raspberry. Blower. It really annoys me. Can I actually take this opportunity now to apologise to uh, <laughs> basically anyone I know that I've done that to? <laughs> Real big apologies. Pretty much. Oh man, and the, uh, yeah, the other thing was just being an a- absolute twat at home. Really. Really. just sort of um, acting like a category A prisoner pretty much just sort of like going home getting my dinner getting it on the tray and taking it upstairs that's like, all that your parents yeah, saw yeah just didn't you, really yeah. want to interact and it was just like yeah just being a right fair, nothing's spoiled. changed in no, like 30 really. years because we don't see anything of our oldest now it's just oh, really? yeah, so, in yeah, from so. school upstairs homework downstairs Xbox comes out for dinner and then we'll disappear Does again. a couple so of grunts, like, probably. And, yeah, yeah, and even when he's in the room, headphones up. are on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does the like, raspberry back to Jim when he bends <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'd love that. That'd, okay. be, that'd be interaction. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> no, sad. But it's good to know that things don't change over 30 yeah, years. Yeah, pretty much, mate, yeah. Should we think about some news events of the year? That yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So I've just got, well, oh, we didn't well, touch on we didn't touch on college really, obviously, because then we. You're absolutely oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I take so it all back. Yeah, sorry, Jim. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then we went into oh. college, didn't we? It's, yeah. I didn't really get on at college. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I found it hard to settle into college. Yeah. Where, did, just, where did you go? Civic. You we, went we to Civic. I just, I don't know. I just couldn't. See, I, again, I don't remember you. Yeah, I always yeah, thought, I always thought you, you did a bit too much because you wore that brown leather jacket and you had a bit oh, of a swagger. Nah, that was yeah. too early. I didn't wear was that. Was it? Did you not? Oh, okay. Nah, nah, oh, okay. Nah. I got that after Fight Club. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why when you was in Fight Club? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he got it for going undefeated. <laughs> no, but after watching Fight Club, I thought I'd just be Brad Pitt. So I wanted a brown leather jacket. It's a lot later then. Yeah, that was yeah. So it was nine ninety nine. But did you have the same chisel cut abs as him? No, no. <laughs> no, unfortunately. He had a chisel. <laughs> I that's think a, that's I about think it. He, he nicked that from I, the school. I think I look more like CDC. Ed Norton. I was more like the Ed Norton character, or the uh, meatloaf. The meatloaf. <laughs> Which is weird, because now you look more like Graham Norton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, you're right. College was uh, was an interesting, because that was that whole freedom where you didn't need to call teachers yeah. by yeah, their that surname bizarre. and stuff. Because it's only like a three-month gap between when you finish yeah. at school and you start at the college, isn't yeah, it? And it's like, yeah. you can't go as you please, really. You don't yeah, have to sign was, in. You yeah. don't have to, if you don't come, you don't come. It's fine. I was like, as soon as I heard those words, I was like, really? Again, I, I just And wait. I found the pub at the end of the road. And yeah, exactly, it. yeah. I wasted two years of my life just Yeah, that was brilliant, that, wasn't it? I, I, just, I think pretty much every... I Literally, know, every, daily. Like, every daily. Daily. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Was, there wasn't no. That was I a think wasted year. And going back to the house parties, you said yeah, and sleepovers was a lot of things. And that was when you're doing the sleepovers, like with it was mixed sleepovers, like boys and girls. I thought you meant with Mick. No, no. <laughs> mixed sleepovers. Mixed, mixed leapovers. Like he was uh, some kind of Eddie Kidd yeah. kind of no, guy. No, no, sleepovers. Jumping people on cars and on bikes. So like the sleepovers you did, you started to mix it. Yeah, you? you're right. Like, yeah, girls. Or was boys. that was that like an organised one, or was that a We've all had some drinks, and basically, no, no, I can't think, I think it was organised, so like, which oh. and the parties, and which makes me wonder where the fuck were our parents during the nineties? Well, where the hell my, were they all? Sadly, mum was still at home, so I remember okay. that. <laughs> like, I used to go like around people's house, and I just I look back now and think, where were the parents? I don't remember seeing their parents there. Yeah, it's a different world, don't it? I don't know what what the hell were the parents doing in their nineties? It was it was they just like cooped up in their bedroom, weren't they? Yeah, like, yeah, they got sent upstairs know. by a load of randy fucking. They couldn't 15, have been 16, 16, 17 They couldn't have been because they would have got to a point when they'd have come out and said something. I just don't remember. That's it. you were looking for a like a kid with a cool parent, essentially, yeah. weren't you? That just didn't give a monkeys. Yeah, no, and there was a couple of them. We used to go, but I just yeah, wonder we, um, where, they, where where the parents were. We we used to go around a mate's house. Actually, one of the mates actually used to like serve up hash at Civic, actually. So yes, um, and then he used to take it back to like uh, one of our, our other mate's houses and so he, he used to go up and when his mum was out he'd, he'd pretty much cut it all up then we'd have like bottles or like bongs or whatever listen to Cypress Hill Red Hot Chili Peppers or whatever living the dream and just 
got to giggle our, ourselves silly and then it was the most thing was if it's in the daytime is walking back and then trying to have a conversation with my mum and th- that it was just yeah. oh it's awful man just remember that sort Keeping of thing and, yeah just wa- wasting the whole time and like you say if it, I don't even think I tried to blag it into the um, bread and cheese or anywhere like that because or I could get in tar pots because that was just anyone anyone could get in there but it was just like um, yeah I didn't have the, the face fuzz that you bought I was a bit baby face assassin yeah I didn't do bread sort of and that. cheese at college I think I no, I it was probably the, the, the oh, next no. year when yeah sadly I, think I, had to go. I went yeah, you, for lever on it yeah. you yeah. was full on you was, behind you was, the bar the, yeah you was <laughs> uh, on occasion yeah I did well at, at the end of the two years I did basically waste my education and, and didn't sit one of my exams and went to the pub instead so they felt guilty and gave me a job <laughs> So yeah, that that went down well with the folks at home as well, obviously. Yeah, no. So you've wasted your two years at that pub and you're working at that pub. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that it's like well. some of the things you did back then, you're like, yeah. I don't know, it's like rolling your eyes now, but it's just like, yeah. I know. It was it's I suppose it's character building though, isn't it? It's just like yeah, you go. If if we can't say that, yeah, it was it was worth <laughs> it was absolutely worthless, wasn't it? That's exactly, yeah. And it, got for, for me it, it just went down. It went downhill. <laughs> downhill from down, there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just as in. But yeah. great stories, but downhill. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, as the years, I mean, years cracking, come on, yeah. cracking times as much as I remember, but I don't remember much. Yeah, no. But I remember the, the, the time I got beat, beaten up, like, like the first like time. Actually, no, that was the only time. We basically, we got stoned and we went down to watch a fight between two girls. Right. And because we were stoned, we were just giggling at anything. We weren't bothered about the actual... Yeah. Blokes thought we was laughing at this girl getting beaten up. That's so then they all come up. It was like, I know, yeah. like, um, it's almost like an Essex West Side story. They will come up <laughs> to like Villa Park. And then, or it was almost like, actually like a Craig David song because my mate Wayne got beaten up on the Monday. <laughs> I, I got I beaten where, up on the I Tuesday. This is, this is amazing. And then, um, actually funny enough, Rory got away scot-free, but it was... By um, Wednesday, he was yeah, making exactly. love, presumably. <laughs> but they was, yeah, they all come up, they all like... It's the PG the version crap. of Craig yeah. David. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wednesday, yeah. we were yeah, just, just like... Went out separate ways. Thursday, had the PlayStation. Yeah, just yeah. Just <laughs> broke a book or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday, I tried. Had a Pop-Tart. Yeah. And a wank. And then that was that. But yeah, but that was that was the whole bizarre thing. And it was kind of like, uh, it's a bit of swagger. And you see all like the alphaness mm. in the like the males. And I like having something to prove and that. And it was just, it was quite, quite kind of like vicious and that. And you had to prove your toughness. Mm. And, and for some reason, I took a good beating. And that's what made me, I got respect for I was going to say you probably did get a bit more of a yeah. nod, yeah. And uh, like one of them jumped off the climbing frame and two-footed me in the head. And I remember getting up from that and then it was all like shaking my well, hand. Well, I'm like, you, you took that so well. I got Thanks beers so for that afterwards. It's just like, yeah, it's almost it's like, bizarre, yeah. It's isn't like, it? Right of passage. Yeah, on a Ben Fleet Rocky or something like that. It's just like, <laughs> just whoop. kept getting up. I kept on shouting, oh, Adrian, or, or, some, or, or some shit. standing there watching yeah. him. He's getting killed out there. No, he's no, getting angry. He's right. He's I'd have been worried if he was standing up shouting, Adrian, because I'd think, it's the same wrong Yeah, is that Adrian's not even here. He doesn't know an Adrian. Morehouse. His favourite swimmer. Let's kick him some more, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. Oof. Can you imagine if that was a uh, Stallone's inspiration? What Adrian Moore? Adrian Morehouse. <laughs> <laughs> he was writing a love, like, a love letter to him via the film. What? Just some bloke, some northern guy in speedos gets in the ring at the end of Rocky One. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. Oh, well. I've just done butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> now let's box. Are you worried about your weight after Christmas? Looking to eat a bit more healthily this year? Well, try new. I can't believe it's not Buddha. Made with bits of a real god, it'll have you feeling tipped up within six weeks of switching from butter. So good it will make your day your tea. Ditch the butter. Try the Buddha now, you fat git. Should we talk about what's happening news-wise? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Go on then, Phil. I just, wa- I just want to pre-warm people. I've got f- f- fear of repeating myself. Okay. I have got three I, thought you was say, I, I remember got... where I was moments of thought... this year. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. I thought you were going to say, you... I have got Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to remind okay. people, have I told you this? Yeah. No, so yeah, this? I have got I have got three I remember where I was moments, so I'm just, okay. Okay, I'll keep. I'll tell you when they are. I think oh, okay, I you're, not, you're, not, you're not starting with one. No, no, I'll put, well, you're I'll just probably come on to one, yeah. Okay, go on, start with one. I will start with one. Go on, Let's do it. Obviously, again, following on from... My love for Nevada, and that obviously Kurt Cobain commits suicide. Mm. Yes, another member of the Twenty Seven Club. Yeah, the Twenty Seven Club, obviously. So yeah, he commits suicide. I remember I was at a, a house party. Funny enough, uh, oh, okay. I've done a house party sleepover, yeah. and obviously it was really early in the morning. It's like two, three o'clock. It was eight, April time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. April the fifth, April the seventh, yeah. something like that. 
And um, it was obviously the, the house party sleepover, whatever it was, had died down. So was out, was, yeah. some people were asleep. And it, it was about yeah. three in the morning when it broke. Yeah. Because obviously they're, they're behind, aren't they? So, and I remember, I think I was, again, probably only out of that group who really liked Nirvana. And I remember just someone like boasting, like as if they were trying to upset me. Oh, Kurt Cobain's died, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And I, I genuinely remember like, really being upset, being oh, yeah. affected by it. Like, <laughs> if I was by myself, I'd have probably cried. Oh, really? I was, oh, just like, I was just like, <laughs> shit. And I was on a downer. I just remember it, like, just thinking, like, shit, like, yeah. this, is, this is it. Like, you know, I mean, for like the last two years or whatever, that music was, I don't know, like I say, uh, was my life really for that. So, yeah, that was a that was a big moment. So I, me- I always remember that really, where I was at that point. Yeah. So that's my first one, but we'll come up to the other ones later. Right, right. Um, what else we got? Uh, there was a, there was a few executions as well this year. <laughs> I, I, remember, I don't know why I'm I, laughing I made, at that. I made, <laughs> I made, I made a note because I remember reading a few and I was just like, this is a lot of, that was a few executions this year. Oh, yeah. But it was. in Frantically like, scanning notes, listeners, but I don't I don't think I made notes of like what they were, but they were in you know, these bizarre places and that, but there, were, there was quite a few of them. <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> yeah, exactly. where are we, where are we going to isolate ourselves <laughs> yeah, from where we can't, <laughs> we can't take the road show? And another thing I remember was <laughs> there was a, a couple of sentences which were bizarre. So well, that, Rams, that, that yeah, last that, one you just yeah, said. Okay. So like Ramsey was, a year of was charged 240 years plus two life sentences. As if that like, <laughs> 240 years. Yeah, as if it wasn't enough. Enough. <laughs> yeah, we want to really make sure you've got the message. And right. uh, like Joel Rifkin, who was, uh, I think it was a killer in, in America. He was, he was like the, um, uh, the Joel oh. the Ripper kind of. Right, okay. Uh, One of those serial... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got sentenced to 200 years, 203 years in prison. I mean... Oh, the extra three is really going to piss him off, isn't it? Who comes up with these? 200 is a big place, (laughs) but yeah, let's let's just tag on three for a laugh. If you go... Yeah, as soon as you're going over hitting 80... I was going to say, he's he's, he's sitting there going, oh man, I'm going to be 247 when I come out. Uh, I just just found them bizarre. Do you reckon the judges were just showing off, seeing how long they could get the longest Maybe they were having the same way that Stipe and... Yeah, Nirvana's guy. We're like having a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Yeah, they're the, having a. The judges how, are. How ridiculous a uh, sentence can you, can you commute <laughs> yeah. on someone? Yeah. 243 no, years plus two last <laughs> yeah. I win. All yeah. right. But yeah, so there was a couple, there was them. And uh, the other funny one, he's, he's quite funny, was was probably a big joke at the time, was, uh, was Bobbitt, wasn't it? Lorena Bobbitt cuts off her husband's penis. Oh, oh chucks yes. it out of the car yeah. window. Oh, I thought you yeah. was going with the other John Wayne. There's a John Wayne Gacy. Who was a serial killer who did, I think he top trumped your killers. Oh, really? Yeah, he did More 33. Wayne. Well, he killed 33 boys or men. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah. So, That's and right. it was just the John Wayne element of it. That's what I had. So, wow. yeah, big, big Western fans. Big Western big, fans, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry, but Bobby, yeah, mate, massively, yeah. Because he ended up. Didn't he? He got it sewn back on, didn't yeah, he? He went yeah, off and found yeah. it. Yeah, so he did more than that. And then remember? tried to become a porn star. Porn star. Do you just remember? Yeah. He was in it, everyone. Frank and Penis. Frank and Penis. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. If you and was it because he was? And I know she she was like diagnosed with mental health, wasn't it? But was it because he was having an affair well, she, or something? Was that accused, story? Was that rumor? Accused him. Well, no. She, well, the thing I the, the source I got it from today was she, <laughs> which I found bizarre. <laughs> My sources. Yeah. <laughs> sources was, close to Richard. She was temp. She was temporarily. Insane. She was charged with temporary. Also, oh, like she was so. Yeah. So well, at, that, at that moment, I guess so, yeah. yeah. At that moment, I was insane. Five seconds yeah. later, oh, is Turned that out, the, I'm absolutely. I just go down to Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> so right, just get the shopping in. Oh, sorry, I just had a bit of a moment. Yeah, Ka- I wasn't feeling with- myself. Ka-Stick I'm all right now. It's just the fact that she threw it out the window. It's like I know, just to real, it. It's not bad enough that she's just waggling it around as she drives along, but I know, that- I'm having that out the window. So <laughs> she should have been done for well, like littering. Like a klaxon or something. At the like very that. least, yeah. <laughs> Outrageous that she didn't get done for that. But yeah, I've got some more, but I'll let you guys uh, uh, yeah, okay, touch we can on some of them. Do some extra bits. Well, if we're staying in the kind of the crime and uh, misdemeanors. <laughs> so I've got Fred, the penis frame. Fred and Rose West. Were arrested oh really? This year. Well, no, I didn't get that. So, were they yeah, arrested? Were they? Oh, okay. They were arrested Ooh. and co- have convicted of twelve murders, including two of their own kids. It's yeah, like, the Wests were. Oh, cool. no, so, he look, he mate, they they just look wrong as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You don't want to give them an awful lot of uh, time, so we'll kind of no, exactly. gloss on. But yeah, that obviously big big news back home. Um, I've got a couple of other things. So the Channel Tunnel opened up after seven years of construction and finally started taking passengers to and from the UK and France. The Winter Olympics took place okay. in Lillehammer in Norway. Ooh. Nancy Kerrigan, I think we mentioned her a couple of times ago, mm-hmm. she uh, she 
got her vengeance on uh, Tony Harding. She won silver. Yeah. Despite being attacked and Harding obviously never made it. So. Yeah, was it, it was something recently, wasn't there? Football. Did you see that recently? I know we're going completely oh, yeah. off yeah. QE with the Paris oh, what, Saint-Germain. Uh, oh, what, Tonya Harding? Uh, is um, it? No, it's a PSG, female... female PSG player. Oh, really? Got um, hired and uh, not hired not, someone yeah, to yeah. beat her up or a something because she was keeping her out of the team. Oh, yeah. Really? So yeah, she beat, yeah, her yeah, own, like, beat her own teammate up. Seriously, wow, that's extreme. It's it? insane, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's crazy. Sorry, Man that alive. just uh, yeah, brought back that. Yeah, High level right. sport. Whoosh. We haven't improved in 30 years. No. <laughs> Uh, Rich, what else you got? Um, I've got the Queen breaks her wrist falling off a horse. Um, basically, getting a piggyback ride off a of Camilla. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why sort why of, the long I face, know. Camilla? It's, it's too simple, isn't it? <laughs> well, speaking of breaking wrists, Jimmy, you, you, you had a broken wrist I, I, had school, a, didn't I had a nasty time, yeah, from a... Let's call him. Let's call him Mr. H. Yeah, Mr. Uh, H sounds like an assassin. That's from it Line does. Of Judy, um, isn't it? Mr. It H. Does, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to um, talk talk ill of friends, but uh, yeah, I was crucially injured. Oh, yeah, man. Well, during a, during was during it a, a crucial drama match. It was well. a, a, a drama fine match. Dra- yeah, yeah. <laughs> during drama. It was which improv is, off. <laughs> I really took method acting to the uh, to the nth degree. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we were playing a little game of bulldog and. Um, I was doing particularly well. Last man standing. Was you Rickman and uh, he was? I was. Uh, I was Ollie, Ollie Reid. I was. <laughs> I was fully, fully upended by a, a close Ray. friend of ours. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And I was, uh, yeah, in plaster for a while. Oof. I know how the Queen felt. Yes, she felt. Gutted. She felt delicious. <laughs> 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 That's treason, isn't it? We move on quickly. Someone save me, yes. Phil. Phil, give us another one of your moments. Uh, <laughs> have we got uh, Lisa Marie and Michael Jackson? Mary. They do. Yeah, they do that's a weird one. That one, that one very yeah. weird. Well, that especially one after time? this is months after Michael Jackson has settled a civil lawsuit, suit, no, lawsuit out of court for the. Uh, oh, the um, inappropriate. Yeah, the inappropriate thing we mentioned is like the last one. Yes, of, but yes. Yeah, so is that against the Jordy Jordy Chandler? You kind of wonder if that, <laughs> kind of wonder if that was a little bit of a uh, <laughs> you know cover up kind of thing, wouldn't it? We, make us look yeah. a bit better. Because who was the other one? He married his like kids nanny, I think, didn't he as well? Oh, I don't know, didn't he? Yeah, the, the some, final one. It's, yeah, it's, it's really all bizarre. a bit weird. I don't think happens. that was even his kids, were they? As well, it always happened at and didn't he buy certain them times of his life and stuff? Yeah, really strange. It's yeah. always to kind of. There's rumours about him and Macaulay Culkin as well, wasn't there? As well, there was all that sort of stuff. So it was, yeah. What, what, I mean, whatever was true and what wasn't it, he was a bizarre bloke, wasn't he? He lived so, a hell of a life, yeah. Yeah. So. It doesn't look good. But all, I'm, all I'm saying is, if you've got a, like a massive sort of like, I don't know, what was it called? Neverland, wasn't it? Yes, the ranch. Yeah, yeah. when you've got like all rides and stuff like that and you you speak the way you do, your yeah. rumours, it don't look good, does it? Yeah, absolutely. So, he's not He's not helping himself, is Not he? really, no. Not really. Asking for kids for sleepovers. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, absolutely. Not, it's pretty much uncomfortable. Yes, uncomfortable at best. Let's let's move on. Um, Del uh, Nixon dies of a stroke, um, but I want to ask you what kind of stroke he was doing it all wrong. Uh, was it backstroke? Backstroke, Phil. Backstroke, breaststroke, or was it a dick stroke? Breaststroke. Oh, yeah. I think Ooh. I think you might. I think Stay I got it. Debatable. Yeah. Whatever way he was doing it wrong, we have to ask LBJ or he was Reagan. holding it, holding it too tight. I yeah. would imagine. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> So. I mean, sad, sadly, others died that year as well. We've got Ayrton Senna in yes. the, the F1 crash, which was awful. Yeah, I, I've got a weird story around that one. Is Go it on. is it weird. broadcastable or...? Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Was it's, he trying um, to dodge a big fucking lollipop or something? <laughs> no. Lost I, control of the car. Was that what it was? I, weirdly enough, um, I don't know why, I bought this, um, it was like a fake weed from some stupid place. And I was really down about this, like Ayrton Senna dying, I yeah. generally. Yeah. And I went over, I walked on my own, again, this is really weird, to like um, Jotman's Farm, and there's a bit bridge that goes underneath Canvey yeah, Way. Yeah, yeah. And I tried to like roll up this fucking sawdust, whatever the shit this was, <laughs> started smoking it. I almost made myself really fucking ill because it wasn't what it was meant to be. And then I, I convinced myself Ayrton Senna was breathing on my face. <laughs> <laughs> The ghost of Ayrton yeah, Senna. I got, I got, I didn't freak, he's, I, got, he's got anywhere in the world or the universe. Did he have his helmet off then? Did he have his helmet off then? It would have been, it would have been, been a visor. Down. I would have felt yeah. anything. Yeah, just, he just he decided, probably, I know where I want to be. He probably the first just part of my afterlife. Jotman's. <laughs> I want to be near Canby Way. Yeah, yeah. Just, 
<laughs> must, must have been good years. stuff though. You said it was fake. Sounds yes. like fucking great stuff to be Mate, fair. I think I just hallucinated <laughs> off the fumes of the toxicness. It was, it was yeah. just like, it was like woodworm or some shit. Like, it was it probably was got a load proper, of varnish or yeah, something or a blood in like, yeah. Don't know why. I probably sent it off. It's probably in the back of like a shoot magazine. <laughs> oh, they did just put sort of weird, weird sort hydroponic of, yeah, some adverts sort of weird and all that thing. sort of stuff in like the loadeds and all that yes. kind of stuff, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, Phil, you got anything else that we need to well, be aware of? A couple year? more deaths, unfortunately. Sad Jackie O. Oh, did she die, did she? Yeah, she died. Oh. She spent three days in hospital. I think she had a stroke as well or something. I can't remember. But you yeah, she died Nixon. after three days. 64 years well, old. Like, like a pact. Yeah, stroking each other. And oh. Mr. John Candy. That's the way to go. Oh, yeah, sweet. Oh. Yes, John Candy also died. Then he's 43. I oh, know. Oh, oh, man. Oh, what sort of age is that? Oh, no. Wow. Oh, it's it's, it feels, feels, feels pretty old right now, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it does, mate, yeah. Jesus, yeah. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He was, he was literally one of my favourite actors. Yeah, he was yeah, good. He was, he, was, he, was he was good. He was good. But we, well, we said about earlier, he, was, he died at 43, but do you remember the 45-year-old who won the World Heavyweight Championship? Regained it, even, if you want so, if you so to speak. Uh, was it George... Ukulele form B. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, they smashed that fucking uh, Michael Moore over the head with did. a fucking ukulele. I think it was unfair it. to give yeah. him a weapon, but he did well with it, didn't he? <laughs> he wow, did, mate. 45. So we've still got a couple of years left if I get yeah. training, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, Tyson exactly, Fury can do it. I can do it, right? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Except mate, Tyson yeah, Fury's been boxing since about 10, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah you, but I'm, I'm carrying a little le- less weight, so I think I'm going to be quick around the ring. You could do a live podcast. Yeah, just getting hit, hit, hit in the face. <laughs> That's I love the, I love the fact too. If you don't want to have a couple of warm ups fights. You no, don't want to go, go white collar. You just want to jump straight into the world. Well, I've got time to waste. Them. I've only got yeah, two years. Plus, you make you make millions from it, and then you retire. Well, well I love thinking. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I love the optimism as well. Like you're going to get a shot. Yeah, glass well. glass half full. Of all the people yeah. who are ranked and uh, legally boxed, they're, they're, they're working their way along, and they go. It's like the first Rocky this, film, isn't it? Where they give him the box, the unknown. What would your nickname be, Jimmy? Do you mean the hammer? Yeah, something like that. Give me the hammer heavy, egg one. Yeah. Heavy hands, eggs or something. Yeah, yeah. heavy like hands, that. eggs. Yeah. Oh, something like that. Crushes men like eggs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> delightful. See, how can they not put me on the front, you, top of the bill? Well, especially if you're spitting lyrics like that. I need, I need Eddie Hearn and Would they, would they all, all be on the shorts as well? Because that's quite a long. What, well, eggs? <laughs> it is, but they'd, they'd be massive shorts. <laughs> they'd be, massive they'd shorts be ridiculous. Eggs they'd be like and, and chicken on there as well. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be the only oh, boxer man. that boxed in long trousers. Be like them sweet eggs. Yeah, you know, like just loads of them. Little I'd, fried eggs. I'd love it if you, oh, place, just yeah. intimidate like your opponent. You'd just go into the corner and you could like lay a massive egg just before. <laughs> just just, just be like, fucking part man, part, part chicken. chicken. Or like, or, yeah, or like that scene happened? out of airplane where he's just sitting there and just like just eggs coming out of his mouth. Like <laughs> yeah. loads of them. Non-stop <laughs> eggs coming out. <laughs> that. That would be the nickname. Non stop eggs. Egg. Oh, that's non stop yeah. eggs. Just constantly <laughs> going. Eggs. Non stop eggs. Just eggs falling and falling. Then yeah. they smash on the floor. They'd make a slippery surface. Surface. You get a cheeky one in. The champ would slip, knock himself out. You're the heavyweight champion of the world. And I Boom. say to him, the yolk's on you. Yeah, the yolk's and I walk <laughs> out. Belt along. Yes. And then Adrian Morehouse is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> we skip off into the distance. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Let's go so if there's any uh, boxing Jimmy. promoters out there, please uh, please do consider me for the next big fight. Uh, any more bits and bobs that we need Just, to, but um, we, yeah, to be I mean, aware we've of? We've got the biggest news. We, mm. I think we're all missing this. Uh, uh, well, the, were you going to talk about what, Finland this, joining the EU? No, no. We're, is that this bigger, the, bigger than that? Breakfast, bigger than breakfast that. I mean, time drink. We're talking genuine news. OJ Simpson. Yes. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. I seem to remember something about him. Did he, yeah. did he drive a car? Oh, no, he was in Naked Gun, wasn't he? Oh, that's <laughs> right. He was very good in that. <laughs> so, yeah, so this was like mass. I just remember this being on like Sky Channels, like every yeah. single Sky Channel. Wasn't it? Everyone was, picked up it, the slowest ever. Yeah, it was. Ever chased, wasn't it, essentially? I, I don't really remember much. I just remember it always being on a Sky Channel, like yeah. every little thing, every channel he turned over. So he had a, he had a white, just, what was it, a Ford Bronco or something, wasn't it? Like a pickup oh, truck type thing. And he was being chased by like... Six, yeah, seven, eight yeah. cop cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. but really was, slowly down yeah, the freeway. Was, yeah, and, and he, he had a gun as well, didn't he? Didn't I, he? I think he threatened to put yes. it in his mouth and blow he, his brains out. He drove and drove and drove really slowly. And where did he end up? At his own house. Yeah, only, oh, he drove yeah. home. It was weird. And, and then it, they arrested him yeah. there. And he was it's listening like to Chris Rear as well. 
<laughs> Driving home for Christmas. <laughs> oh, if that's not true, oh, shit, it should it's be. Oh, not Christmas. <laughs> so I've his, just killed someone. That was his crime. Oh, fuck, yeah. it's my wife. You're listening to Chris Rea at the wrong time of year. <laughs> <laughs> listening, listening to Rear at the, the wrong time. That's, that's what they finally got him on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they couldn't make any of the other Sorry. charges stick because he actually gets away with it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets away with, like, with the, the and, that was, and that was it. The, the court case again was on like yeah. just every channel, that's wasn't right, it? Yeah. Just, it was just yeah. dominated the news. Yeah. It was, it was. It's the first again at that time. time. I didn't really care much for. I mean, it was peculiar, wasn't it? But it was. I just remember it always being on because I don't think I was aware that he was like an American footballer. No, no, I just remember Naked Gun. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, what was his nickname in the, as an American footballer? I suppose it was Juice, wasn't it? The Juice. Like yes. It was, was it? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're pretty literal, aren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's like OJ. What should we call him? Juice. All right. The Juice. Mm-hmm. He nice. is the Juice. Damn right he is. Well, he was in prison. Well, he was yeah. <laughs> there was um, juice, well, he was, he was getting juice regular, maker, getting regularly squeezed. Oh, I remember, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. He was a very strange guy. I remember watching an episode of Ruby Wax, and she interviews him. And yeah. then she gets him to confess and he jokes around. I think he jokes around saying that he does it. And then it, Man, it's really a, bizarre. That's so. a bold move. Surely, like, press and PR now would be oh, like, yeah, all over so. it, like, just shutting it all down. It's like back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's what, let him go oh, crazy. Yeah, no, strange, strange one. But um, Very strange. Indeed. Yeah, that was... Um, the yeah. only other thing I had um, it was the uh, 94 World Cup. And, oh, um, of course, yeah, yeah. And that was the old uh, Dinah Ross uh, penalty miss. That's the best thing I remember about that. Yeah, well, because obviously yeah. we didn't give a monkeys about it. No, obviously we don't qualify. England as England wasn't in there. So every game was on at like four in the morning. Or I don't think. It? Yeah. Like, I don't think none of the home nations were. Is it? Were I in Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Ireland. Oh, yeah, oh, Ireland. Yeah, oh, yeah, Ireland. 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 They had a good one. Yeah. Is that the one where well, Jack Charlton's going to lose? Yeah, Ray Howe so gets that winner. They beat Italy, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, they're all. They got to the quarters. Isn't he eating a Solero or something? He's having a lovely time. <laughs> What's your about all... the World Cup, Jack? I had a lovely Solero. He's got about eight Soleros in his hands. He's just, <laughs> just sort of leaking them out on the side. <laughs> Go on, get one to Cascarina. <laughs> Townsend, Townsend, to the... Townsend. <laughs> Solero's leaking. I, get... <laughs> I don't know what the accent is. It's, <laughs> yeah, not, exactly. it's not up there with the best of us. It's not. Is it? Man, I love it. Yeah, they got quite far. They got quarters, didn't they? Yeah. I think they did all right, yeah. I think Brazil won in the end, didn't they? Brazil, Brazil went on penalty. Yeah, Baggio so uh, missed the penalty, didn't he? Yeah, that's I think right. Brazil that a had a young 17-year-old on the bench as well that would obviously become famous with Ronaldo. Never, oh, it was, okay. He was actually in the oh, squad. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was wow. actually in the squad. Yeah. Um, I'd always just remembered him talking about him and the commentators getting all excited, yeah. thinking he never came on, I don't think, in any games, but they kept saying, oh, this young lad's on the bench, he's going to be the next be... big thing, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they were right, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. He was, mm. he was all right. And yeah. 98's obviously, um, mm. yeah, his, his thing. Yeah, yeah. Wowzers. Yeah, it was, a, it was a strange old World Cup, wasn't it? Yeah, you had like the thing with was... the Colombian player as well, wasn't it? Yeah, Andre mm. Escobar gets shot for... Yeah. A... Did yeah. he score an own goal? He scored an own goal. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, the they, were, they were like betting on favourites, it. one of they the favourites yeah. to win it, like dark horses mm. to win it. Yeah. And then they just went out, I think... Um, I think USA beat them, actually. USA yes. won their first game or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. He misses a penalty against the USA, I think. Yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, and then and he, he got shot. I don't know if it was straight away. Was it when they arrived back, or was it like a few days after? It wasn't on the pitch. No, no, no but they, they, went, they went back home, didn't <laughs> oh, they? Yeah, it was yeah. actually two, three days yeah, later, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's just some so, guy come out and went, oh, sorry, oh, mate, that's it's unacceptable. Like, <laughs> yeah. Eh, yeah, hombre. That's worse than yeah. Diana Ross. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you exactly. imagine if Diana Ross also got shot by the car for missing? It's like. <laughs> We told you what would happen, well, Diana. To be fair, her career didn't do much after that, did no. it? Started a chain reaction. Oh, I think you're. What a way to bring that to a <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the worst pun of all time. <laughs> I kind of feel I should apologise for that as well. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> and that's how you wrap it up. Uh, any more for any more, or should we? Uh, no, I think that's cool. Call, call that ninety four in the news. Um, just that Peter Shilton um, opened the dance school in uh, Tilbury. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, uh, if you're going to come at us with this, this is what we need now, Dan. We need, we need full-scale information <laughs> about this fictional nonsense. It was, just, was it called yeah. Two Left Feet and Two Right Gloves or something? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Something <laughs> ghastly. Don't delay. Get ahead for Christmas and order your advent calendar today. 
Each month features a different serial killer in a seductive pose. Make your January the best with Fred and Rose West. Fancy a mad march with Manson? When it's cold outside, I've got Myra Hindley in May. And end your year the right way with a dirty December with Jeffrey Dahmer. Three pound from every sale will go to Cats with Dementia. Go online and order today. Okay, fellas, let's talk about TV from 1994 then. Um, bit of a whistle-stop tour through it. I will start you off. Uh, new stuff happening in 94. The New Adventures of Superman with Dean Cain and Terry okay. Hatcher was out. Yeah, oh, everyone you? had Terry at the time, didn't they? I mean, they? that was, yeah. Terry and Butcher. I, I that was, yeah. yeah, Terry yeah. Butcher. <laughs> Definitely. I'd rather he was Superman than Dean. Was that it your favourite Terry? Like right, Terry Hatcher, Terry Butcher. Is uh, there another Terry? Terry, and, Terry and June. Terry and June, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. yeah, Terry Scott sadly passed away. Yes, as well, he did, so. yeah. Mm. Voice of Penfold. Mm. Absolute hero. <laughs> I can't get down because we're talking about Terry Hatcher. Yes. And she yeah. was enough to brighten the darkest day. Yeah, she, yeah. I think everyone did like her at the time. Didn't yeah, it? she was nice, wasn't she? Yeah. Very and Dean Kane. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Both, both absolute yeah. dishes. Uh, he could bench press over 250. Could he really? 250 uh, what? Cans of beans. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for something random. 250 m ms Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, he had that in his oh, yeah. locker, yeah. definitely. Unquestionable. Absolute gun show. Um, I've got a couple of others, and then I'll pass it, pass the baton. Uh, play your cards right. Return to ITV after a seven-year break. Oh, really? Brucey is Brucey. Brucey in charge, of course. Can you associate that with anyone else? Mm. And uh, here's one for you. The lesbian kiss happened on Brookside. Oh, this did year it? With oh, Anna, Anna Frill. Frill. Anna Frill. <laughs> yeah, that caused, you know, the uh, the outraged right to be up in arms. But it's just a kiss, isn't it? Yeah, I exactly, remember that. Yeah. It didn't be like so I never really watched Brookside, but I remember it being big news. It was big news. Yeah, so it, was like on, that it was actually on the news. <laughs> yeah, that was Eddie Night. I watched Brookside, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on repeat for maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, even yeah. even yeah. Terry Hatcher was on the other side as well. That's how. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That, that obviously cut through. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Phil, what can you enlighten us on? So, 94. Yeah, not bad. So, my probably my favourite one. So, my second I remember where I was moment. <gasps> oh, Ooh. he promised. Yeah. Knowing me, knowing you, Alan Partridge. Ah, okay, yeah, it's a great Dude, one. And yeah. I remember, I remember being around again a friend's house. It was like a sleepover or something, mm. and there was stuff going in the background. I wasn't really, I wasn't really <laughs> like, like what? Like someone, someone's being attacked. So, <laughs> no, but someone's peeling the fur off a dog. The, te- the telly was on, and I wasn't really. Um, like, you, you didn't want to press the 9-9 no, I wasn't really call. talking to the others. I was just watching the telly. I just, I don't know. I, I, you were always welcome at a party, weren't you? Yeah, I don't know just why. Just yourself just, to yourself. What's this guy all about? I can't remember he what, comes round, he's had one beer, he's just sat in front of the telly. I can't remember what reason it was. <laughs> but anyway, I think him. it was meant to be. I was drawn to the telly and I was watching this chat show <laughs> and I didn't know it was um, like a comedy at the time because yeah, I mean, yeah. it would genuinely look like it was done really well, wasn't yeah. it? And it looked like Wogan yeah. and all that. I think that's kind of what it's based on. And I remember what one it was. It was the one with Mini Driver as well. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She turns up and she's really a man, isn't she? And yeah. he doesn't know it. And he's, he's flirting with her and he's doing his jokes. Like he's like, he's like oh, what do you like in a man? And she's going, oh, I like someone with a sense of humour and he's like <laughs> laughing he's going oh, I like somebody who knows who he is he's going I'm oh, Alan Partridge carry on <laughs> and then she like she goes and says, but most of all what I really like in a man is a big muscly bodybuilder <laughs> and then his face just changes and he goes all like, <laughs> uh, like pissed off yeah and, he's, uh, and I was watching it just thinking this is funny like what is going on here I'm yeah, watching yeah, a chat yeah. like I thought it was a serious chat show but I was like I just found it really funny and I was laughing I'd yeah, and I just always remember that. And then I was just drawn to it. And then I think after that, I watched it for a week. And then I yeah. kind of went back and watched the other ones. Because the day-to-day started. That yeah, year see, as I, well, didn't I didn't it? know about the day-to-day first, day yeah. at that point. I, I got into that later. Yeah, but yeah, so. Partridge definitely resonates. Yeah, yeah that, that was good. Um, that he was, was good. fabulous. And still going to this day, which well, is Day-to-day, day, the, the sketch with like underground dentists and just stupid stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. And the other that. thing with Partridge, which made me laugh and that, they had like, um, they interview, he interviews a jockey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he thinks he's really young. He thinks he's, yeah. he's about yeah. doing his homework. He's going, yeah. Yeah. He's going do yeah. your parents know you're out? And all stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you got to go home and do your homework? Yeah, so. <laughs> it's just really, like really, really silly stuff. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, uh, oh, no, it was great. <laughs> yeah. That's really made me chuckle. Uh, carry on, Phil, sorry. Room 101 started. Yeah, so that would have oh. been Nick 
Hancock in yeah, the chair. I think, oh, yeah, I think that's still going, that. isn't it? That's Frank Skinner. Yes, now, that's Frank Skinner yeah, now. But he's had so Paul Merton in their chair as well. But yeah, Nick yeah, Hancock in yeah. the first few. So that's been going along. He's Harry Enfield and Chums. Yes, oh, okay. which is fabulous because that um, then leads us to, to the far show. Yeah, so set a far show next right, as well. Okay, far so. superior, I thought as well. Yeah, I got a few more, but I'll let you guys. Yeah. Mine, a lot of mine are just based on um, like American ones, which we talked about, but I don't know if they actually started over here. So I don't really sort of talk about them too much. I'll just mention them and then maybe next year, next year, <laughs> maybe next year, yeah. maybe next episode we can talk about Friends, ER and Party of Five. The other thing I have, it's not, it's not a film. I don't know what you'd call it. It's not a film. Perhaps it's a documentary, but it come up with a TV thing and I just thought I'd mention it because it's so bizarre. I don't know if you remember In Bed with Madonna. Madonna. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, I think it was a film, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, was yeah. it an actual film? It yeah, was it was so a proper But it was film. done as a documentary, yeah. But she was like, it was like her on the back of tours and stuff, and it was just mm. her. It was her doing dares and playing games yeah, with her like, security, dances, people, security yeah. Security all, stuff. Yeah, 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 it was like yeah, getting absolutely. her like uh, dancers to kiss each other. Yeah, yeah it was weird. weird. It was crap. So Brandon Kiss Gabriel and all yeah. this sort yeah. of yeah. stuff. And it, it was, was really like, crap. Everyone yeah. just watched it because everyone was expecting to see yeah. something. After they? the whole sex, yeah, yeah. yeah. sex yeah. book. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Never know what you're going to get with old Madge, do you? <laughs> no, no, not really. Yeah, exactly. More than you bargained for. Oh no, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. She was even. It was rubbish. We watched it for around thirty minutes. Nothing. Nothing. It's dry as a bone. <laughs> Didn't know what was going on. Just you gave the uh, video guy hell that week. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. Like, you promised me. Last time I take a recommendation off you, Clive. And there was no cigar or van down in this yeah, at that, all. Fucking. <laughs> that's that, it. Was, that was his last job he ever did for yeah. us. I'm joining Britannia. Yeah, Screw you. <laughs> yeah, Britannia. Don't let the door slap you on the <laughs> arse on the way out. It's a regular <laughs> Never <paycheck>. look back. <laughs> Never look back. I still like Britannia. Yeah, <laughs> loads of thousands. <laughs> Absolutely thousands of discs. Wow. The other thing, I've the Cosby mysteries, and I think the only mystery is... Well, how we didn't, how we yeah. didn't get found earlier. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, very true. I also had, you sort of mentioned in American stuff, The X-Files started on BBC Two. Oh, was it then? Was it? Oh, okay. yeah, because I think that, we talked about that, so it must have been America and then... Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. similar with Friends, so yeah. I'm sure we'll touch on that next... Mulder and Scully. Next step, but that was fabulous. University Challenge... Came back to BBC Two. Paxman's been in the chair. Mm. Who, who did it before? Was it Robin Day or something? It was Robin Day, oh. yeah. He was all sort of suited and booted with a little... Was he the guy that sounded bunged up all the time? Yes. <laughs> yes, I think that's, <laughs> that's a lovely little, uh, little that's impression, right, though. It's nice. But yeah, yeah. He's doing your right. dolphin impression again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's Darth Vader. That was just a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you agreed with that. Do you remember? It was uh, yeah, the best challenge with Darth Vader. <laughs> Which actually chair. is a very good Richard Nixon impression. <laughs> yeah. Well, that too. That who, who knew they were uh, <laughs> interchangeable? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we'll we'll bail you out by cracking straight yes, along. Yes, exactly. The Vicar of Dibley started on uh, BBC yeah. as well mm-hmm. in '94. I've got the first national lottery draw. Oh, with old, Meg. With old Noel Edmonds uh, doing yeah. the business and doing the business. <laughs> he was doing the business. He had got his balls out on oh, on Mr. the beep. Meg. Um, but I've got Ready Steady Cook. Ooh, Starting as well, Fern, Ainsley, a little bit of innuendo at tea time. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Ainsley, and Fantasy Football League. Obviously, it was a oh, sort of a knock on of the World Cup, really? I suppose. Well, what, Skinner and yeah, Badil? Skinner, yeah. Badil, Stato. Oh, yeah, I used yeah. to like that. Yeah, Phoenix that from good. the Flames. Phoenix from the Flames as well, yeah. They like, do you remember what they did to poor old Jason Lee? With the pineapple on his pineapple. head. Pineapple. That got a pineapple must have on haunted his head. that yeah. guy, mustn't it? He did, didn't he? That's what he used to get at every ground. They used yeah, to say you've got a pineapple on your head. Yeah. It's like pretty bad. It's isn't harsh. It? I used to like that. Like, Friday nights. I remember yeah. it was just like, used to be on the air late at night. It was like a proper basic show, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, it yeah, just absolutely. Works, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because fantasy football itself was really big, obviously. And like, spread, like, yeah. Occasionally. It's pretty much the equivalent if you got cameras in to us now, wasn't it? Pretty much. It's just like. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But they put, they had occasionally they had a big guest, didn't they? And with a big guest, yeah. it was like some of them would kind of get it. But yeah, some if they of enter into the spirit, and some and are very was, standoffish really, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Oof, yeah, you weird. want you want the one that plays along, don't you? And yeah, just kind of. Course. But then I suppose they're fairly talented comedians. They could probably turn the other way as well. Uh, have we got any more TV business? No, no, no that's pretty much yeah, I think. I mean, there's a couple of things, but in the way that you do sometimes, Phil, the ones that finish this year, I've got. That's life after twenty one years. Little Lester oh, okay. Ranson show dies what of death. What was that about? It was basically nothing. It was like dogs that could say sausages. Sausages, and, like, that's it, yeah. Things that looked a bit like a dick, wasn't it? it was <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. For twenty one years and a yeah. variety of different presenters. But it's another Sunday night job, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. 
It was weird. It, it sort of shouldn't have been BBC, but was. Wasn't it one of the ones where they sort of they made the audience, the celebrities, the one of the first ones? Yeah, that sounds right. And it kind of right. like took the sort of... Yeah, maybe other people sort of took yeah. that. And I don't even remember it. watching it. Yeah, it was, it was it literally just, great. let's go out and send a reporter out and interview this woman mm. whose dog sounds a bit like it's saying sausages. Or they'd ask her some weird thing and you get like Beryl from, I don't know, Milton Keynes just yeah. saying something she shouldn't. Yes, absolutely. It was and one of those yeah, ones, isn't it? Was like, and everyone like... <laughs> In yeah, the she's, oh, she's wearing a knitted beret. And it's Sounds like, like yes, Mr. Cracker saucy. there. Yes. Yeah, you've, you've done well to <laughs> skip 21, 21 <laughs> series of that. Um, Jim will fix it finished. We won't talk about that. Um, and Lovejoy oh, okay. came to an end. Uh, Everyone's yeah. favourite. Yeah, I've never really got into Lovejoy. Mulleted antique yeah. dealer. No. Used to be on in our house, but I never watched. Well, never really. Well, you are too busy, weren't you? Always, always at a party. I did, watching, yeah. watching someone else's just, telly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ignoring your mates. We did have a TV license. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm off out again. What, what's telly? Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. But yeah, aside from that, something for the kids, because I was, mm. despite us being fairly old in kind of what we thought anyway, yeah. we were all like, yeah, we're going out there to the pub and stuff, I still wasn't averse to watching a bit of Nightmare or... Raggy Dolls on the telly oh, as well. Yeah, Raggy Dolls, yeah, was yeah, great, yeah. wasn't it? Amazing. Both came to an end that year. Fireman Sam as well. Oh, really? They keep bringing it back, obviously, but that was the first time it finished. But that is all I've got for the uh, the telly. It was a, a nice amount of co- comedy that sort of started off and s- still with us to this day, which is great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which is nice. Good. Good roundup, chaps. Well done. Hey, man, what you got there? Here's some bongos, man. Oh, they don't look like just any bongos, man. They're not any bongos. Oh, can I touch them? No. Can I touch your bongos? Wow. Get up a bongos, man. These are these are Lou Baker's bongos, man. I totally got to get my auntie one. Nanny Pat as well. I'm pretty shit up these bongos. You can have a great you can have a great time with bongos, eh? Okay. Let's talk good about ones. the movies, some shall we? Good ones. Because there are some cracking movies. Yeah, there's so, some tough ones. Phil, you are our resident oh, film guru. Right, so Let's so have your th- top three of the year. A few honourable mentions if you so desire it. And then we can sort of get into one of them. Okay, and- so number three, <coughs> I think just Pippin. Never heard of it. Clerks to three, just <laughs> outside. I do like that, but yeah. I think just being in Shallow Grave, I meant for. Oh yeah, early yeah. McGregor. Yeah, very very yeah, good. Yeah, just obviously um, before Train Spotting, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I do like Shadow Grave. Great, little, great film, isn't it? Obviously about uh, finding uh, like a a new flatmate, isn't it? And they get a he mysterious person. Him, yeah, yeah and yes. they find money, and it's all about them trying to hide the money in the loft and stuff like that. But That's yeah, right. brilliant film. Really good film. Yeah, that was definitely that. one to check out if you haven't. And again, number two, uh, this this easily could be number one. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, great film. Absolutely, yeah, easily could be number one, probably number one on many people's lists. Might even be one on yours. Yep. Um, and number one for me, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, why well, is it My number favorite. one for you, for them, Phil? It's yeah. just such a good. It's just a great film about friendship, hope, everything yeah, like that, isn't it? Plus yeah. a little the twist. Didn't and they? Um, didn't they? They changed the ending, didn't they? Yeah. So the ending originally was him on the bus. Mm. The, end, the original ending was him on the bus trying well, to get, get to, to Red. I think he gets the job as a bus driver. <laughs> no, no, no. It was him he's <laughs> picking up kids <laughs> on, the, on the school road. Because he, he goes to the, the secret place as he finds money or something, and, then, like, and uh, Red's told him where to meet. Yeah, him, yeah. We should assume we're not giving away spoilers at this point, because yeah, everyone must have yeah, seen these well, films. So yeah. if you haven't, we apologise. Yeah, and then so and then it, it literally is him on the bus and it ends. And they did, oh, yeah. they did loads of test screenings and everyone complained that they, oh, really? they were upset and he never physically got to see him yeah. uh, t- meet up with Red. And obviously then you get the scene mm. where they do meet up on the beach at the end. But... Uh, yeah, it would have been. I think it would have been a bit of a letdown had he just ended on the just bus bit, and yeah, you're assuming they meet a up. A bit hollow. But yeah, yeah, so um, I just did that extra shot. Um, There's a third ending as well, isn't there? Is there? Yeah, yeah. Where they're playing they're, beach um, volleyball, aren't they? Yeah, with their tops off. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Oiled up. Oiled up. Oiled up. Yeah, and then, high-fiving. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. But it was nominate, I've, I've got nominated that, I've got for seven version. Oscars. <laughs> Is that it? Nominated for seven Oscars. Didn't win any. Really? It did absolutely nothing at the cinema. Bombed. I think it made 18 million, which was not nowhere near. Um, it made a further 10 million through the Oscar nominations. So, what did it not cover its expenses? No, kind it, of it thing? was an actual loss making movie, and it oh, wasn't wow. until it came out on video, 
And then I, over word of mouth, yeah. just yeah, built just it up, really, built it up, and everyone yeah. started to then buy it. And then now it's yeah. obviously yeah. known as one of the greatest crazy, films. Isn't it? Yeah, but no, yeah, he's it, it, like I say, as I get older now, I start to like, it's the film I think are. Yeah. Yeah, the just one. that little, yeah, it always kind of a, gets a little lump in your throat, doesn't it, as well? Yeah, You're eating good. popcorn, all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to swallow it all the way. It was a popcorn. Uh, oh. <laughs> on, and on that unsavoury <laughs> yes. note, uh, Richard Dello, let's move across um, to you. Yeah, I've got a couple, but um, yeah, Phil mentioned Pulp Fiction. That would have been in mine. Um, Shawshank, yes. Um, then it was between two. Um, it was between Leon which I thought was a great film. film. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Bizarre film as well, because the fact that he pretty much looks after, like this professional assassin looks after a 12-year-old girl. And a pot plant. A pot plant, yeah. I watched that recently, because I I, um, showed my daughter it, because I was like, I've got to watch this film, it's great. Yeah. And it's... It's a bit creepy, it's isn't it? Really weird. I must yeah. admit, I was like, <laughs> I watched it with her. I'm you like, do kind of forget, don't you? I don't remember towards, it like yeah. this. But it's a great film, but it is well, very the European. End, yeah, very yeah, got a really European yeah. feel to it. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> no, it is like, like like obviously French, but it's but it, there is some really moments where you're like, oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. I think to be fair, even the way it's kind of shot as well. Yeah. Is, is quite yeah. Was it Luke? Is something. it Luke? Yeah. 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 But it's all about some great performances. Like obviously, this is probably the first time you've seen Natalie Portman. Um, but mm-hmm. it's Gary Oldman is great in it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, proper yeah, over the top, proper, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is yeah. Weird, really weird yeah. in it and over the top. But obviously, old um, Jean Reno as well is. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he's pretty decent. Obviously, he pretty much uh, plays the standard sort of yeah. Jean Reno roles. But um, yeah, it was, no, it was just a great film. But at the end, yeah, it's a bit. Again, the ending's a bit icky. But um, so my number one is um, on Comedy Valley, it's Dumb and Dumber. They're probably the first of the Farrelly's like, oh. top films because to me, they, they did a great trilogy yeah. of films with Kingpin Brilliant and film. something about Mary. Kingpin. Yeah, I, lo- yeah, I, I love, do. That was on recently but as well. I you love, can't not watch it. Can I, you? Ernie McCracken I, and I, Bill Murray and stuff. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber's so grown on me over the years just for the whole silliness the fact of it starts off with Apache Indian, like, and just like the stupid jokes, the bit where he sells like the dead bird yeah. whose head's been pulled off to a blind kid. <laughs> it's just so sort of like stupid. The bit where he has a fight and he's daydreaming, isn't he? Yeah. And he, yeah. He, ha- and he has a fight with, uh, what is it, this, the uh, Chinese waiter. And he rips out his heart. He basically yeah. puts it in a doggy bag. And loads of silly stuff it's, like yeah, that. It's very visual. Just the whole, it, yeah, the, just the whole. I was, re- I, I watched it. I tried to get the kids to watch it, and they just didn't get they it. It's, get it's obviously it. of a certain, yeah, yeah. Certain time oh yeah, stuff, which is a shame. But it's brilliant. It's like really I say, the, um, the I don't know why they bothered to do a sequel because no, no, it's, it just yeah, you can't just, really no, squeeze the any age more into difference, it. and it yeah. just yeah, it was a bit bit cringy but for me I love this it's just easy to watch again a bit like Phil <laughs> Shawshank Redemption although for different reasons when it's on it's so easy to watch I'll have to watch it to the end so yeah but that's that's me mate what about yourself Jim? Nice uh, well we've, we've all sort of mentioned it so I'll, um, I'll leave that to the end there were um, some absolute Bobby Dazzlers obviously um, Four Weddings and a Funeral not everyone's cup of tea granted because it's a bit you granted, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I, like it. I, want to, I want to. I'm going to claim that, but I didn't. Yeah, like that. Um, but yeah, that's a, a great little UK based film. I just really like James Fleet um, and a couple of others within it. But it was right. It was, okay. it was lovely. Just for Hugh Grant, absolutely letting rip with a fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's the very first, lines, first minute. Yeah, yeah. Which is brilliant as they scream up the motorway in a you know little beaten up mini. But that's really great. Uh, so that would have been my number three, uh, Forrest Gump. Obviously, is in there as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a great film, yeah. You can't really knock it. It's just Hank's Again, in fine form. Yeah. And some of the... It was he was on weird. a roll then he as was, well. He was he? doing all right, yeah, wasn't he? Was, he? But yeah, it's like the, the sweet story. The Similar whole. to the Costner, isn't it? Hank's yeah. in Costner. Didn't, right? Hasn't really done well, a stinker, has he? A good, good boxing fight, wasn't it? Oh, in their, in their, in their prime, Costner Hank's Hanks. in Costner. Well, it depends if you need film Hanks. boxing fight. Hanks after Philadelphia. I mean, he wouldn't be carrying a lot of weight, would he? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Very weak think... Class. Barely lift his arms. <laughs> Cost the shades it on the arse, I think, for me. <laughs> I'm not even yeah. sure if we've seen uh, Hanks' arse in film. Must have, have, we? must have done in Castaway. Cast or something, yeah. yeah. yeah must have done. Yeah. Or Toy Story. 
when, well, he, was, when, he had, when he had Wilson sucking him off and then <laughs> cast away. <laughs> We're all yeah. about the volleyball today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, all about the volleyball. Shirts off, lads. Shirts <laughs> off. <laughs> But yeah, that is... Uh, it's just a feel-good film, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. It and all those silly little bits where he's like, he, he invests in Apple yeah. like years later. Yeah, so it's got lots of little touches. It's quite a sad there. film as well, isn't it? Like when his it wife is, dies yeah, and he looks yeah. after the, um, like his son, yeah, there, doesn't he? That's it. I yeah. named him Forrest after yeah, his yeah. daddy. Yeah, his yeah, daddy's uh, called Forrest. It's, like, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very sweet. But, so that was my two. Um, so we can all get involved with my number one. It's Pulp Fiction. Oh, nice. Which mm-hmm. is obviously um, Tarantino, back at his best... You the got, game changer, wasn't it? It was just mm. so good, wasn't it? Yeah. It's it was a game changer. Good. You, you, you those, watched it and it was just like, this is like, this different. Intertwined yeah. stories, yeah. but just with so many good actors all smashing What's John their Travolta roles. in it? He died 20 minutes ago. What's he doing in yeah. it? Yeah. It was like, it was, so it was, weird. But it wasn't just that. Like, it's so many good actors, but at the time... Well, Travolta Travolta's was career, just yeah. gone, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Brought him back um, from the cold. What um, what's he called? Um, so got Samuel, like Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. He was in bit roles. He yeah. wasn't in massive roles. Yeah, but to put him front and centre, and you've got Bruce Thurman, Bruce Willis, Willis has gone a Tim Roth. Bit off the bo- yeah, Tim Roth. Tim Roth was doing all right from Reservoir Dogs, yeah. wasn't he? But again, it was um, it was still it's like just, a big risk. Yeah, absolutely. Actors. But again, the, the soundtrack's absolutely yes. Soundtrack, and, and I think it was the first time you had you had <coughs> the uh, the non-linear storyline yeah but it was also dialogue for me i know there's a yeah. dog touch on it but it, it does so more in pulp fiction where the yeah. dialogue doesn't move the film forward in any way it's just absolute no. nonsense but yeah. there's something about yeah. it where you're just you just you just is love it, it are you thinking it, a particular scene, yeah, with a ch- uh, che- yeah cheese royale uh yeah. want to say foot massage yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean they, these these actually don't have anything to do with the film but no not you could actually cut it out little and it flights of yeah. they're brilliant stuff, yeah it, it's it's he, Kind of like I say, that was a game changer, and then you had actually had films after that trying to emulate and do yeah. these, but they just couldn't do it the same way, could they? No, absolutely. some did, yeah. but um, he def- it definitely changed film, hundred mm, percent. Yeah, without 100%. without a doubt, he's got his knockers, but he's when he's on form, he's yeah. he has he hasn't yeah. topped that yet, though. To me, for me, I wouldn't have thought so. I, I think don't... that's his that was his, that's his top film. I... He's done some yeah. good ones, but yeah, yeah not yeah, but... not the top set. It's, no, it's no, that was supremely good. It's not a bad collection of films we've um, we've chosen there, chaps. There's some yeah, more. Yeah. Oh, there's some yeah. more because I've I've got more to go. But let's go back to you then, Phil. Let's uh, get your also. Well, rants. this isn't a great one, but I think I've gone every episode we've mentioned it. Disclosure: you got to have a Demi Moore you film. Do. In <laughs> you do. You Demi Moore. You weren't a good film. By Demi Moore, <laughs> Is that or you're Michael obsessed Douglas? with her. Is that with her and Douglas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a rubbish film, but it's her. Being it's just her. seductive and yeah, that's enough for you, isn't it? That's the yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> that had me there. You that's so sweet. badly wanted to be Douglas. <laughs> yeah, Speed. Speed. Oh, yeah. That's a great action film. Wasn't it? it was, Bang wasn't it? Film. It was just the fact of yeah, there was Dennis Hopper playing the the crazy madman, wasn't it? Mm. It was just non-stop so, action. I remember yeah, seeing was, the yeah. cinema and just being from the first minute to the end, it was just like being blown away by it. I mean, it's yeah, a bit, yeah, it's exactly. a bit, when you watch it now, it's a bit, it's, mm, it's, yeah, it's yeah. about a bus. Yeah. And you kind of like, oh, no, no. I, I love yeah. the Father Ted piss take they do with the milk so, float. With the milk float. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so Pat Mustard. and yeah, I rate, Pat Mustard. I rate and, Pat Mustard. And, and was it the, the milk float can't go over more than five miles per hour? So, <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? It's really good. Oh man. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, White Up. That's a good one. I don't know what that is. White Up. You know, it's not not Kurt Russell. Weston. Yeah, no, I think it was Costa again, wasn't it? it was Costner. I think it was just a lot of big day. droopy moustaches. I think Kurt Russell might be in it actually as well. I think you're right. I think he's in a yeah. lot of those kind Michael of Bain things. as well. The older moustache. Yeah. Right ones. Older. I get mixed up White Earp and Tombstone. Tombstone. I know Tombstone. Yeah, I think that's, that might yeah. be. Yeah, we did. I can't yeah. Where I'm what going. One. But it's basically it's, it's spurs, it's hats, and it's floppy moustaches, isn't it? Yeah, basically. it's a good oh, okay. film though. It was good. Natural Born Killers. Yep, absolutely had that down. So that was, I think that was Tarantino. Tarantino wrote that. That was Tarantino. Yeah, he wrote that. It was bizarre that film though. Yeah, it's all like canned laughter now. Canned laughter. Yeah, they did a bit where it's almost like a talk show and like. um, Who's the famous comedian? Um, oh, what's he called? Rodney Dangerfield's in it. Oh, he, yeah. He plays her dad. He's really... He's the one in like Caddyshack and stuff, isn't he? Yeah, that kind but of, he's yeah. like really... Again, he's really creepy on yeah. Juliet Lewis. It's ain't yeah. about films with Tarantino. Yeah. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet Lewis, Juliet Lewis, Lewis was Lewis, weird, yeah. though, wasn't she? she oh, yeah, was they, were both, they were both serial killers, weren't they? But Woody Harrelson played that really well. Well, yeah. they both did, really. That was really controversial, that film, wasn't it, at yeah, the time? I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. getting a lot It's of... got quite... I don't give Woody Harrelson enough credit. He's got quite a range of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about yeah. it, he's like he's done some pretty. He got 
a bit stuff. typecasty because of like um, the, uh, Woody and Cheers and then oh, doing White yeah. Man Can't White Jump, man can't yeah. jump and stuff like, stuff that, like yeah. that. But yeah, he's... Money Train was it or something Money... like that? Yeah, he, does, he has done some like cheesy ones like that. But he's, I'm he's... actually done it for the cash just to keep it rolling. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think you can't blame him. Much, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But I, I like Woody Harrelson because he throws himself into all sorts of things. He's like um, he, even singing. He's because he, he's I like like um, reggae and stuff like that. He, he does compilations with like Ziggy Marley. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, seriously. Now that's not yeah, something like, you saw <laughs> coming, is it? That's <laughs> no, if you're going to put two names together. Yeah, not honestly, necessarily yeah, uh, the bedfellows. But he's again, he's like he can sing, he can hold a tune. Nice. So, yeah. Good I, I'm not recommending you get the. Album, <laughs> yeah, if you take anything out of this, it's not it's <laughs> yeah, not by uh, it's not... Woody Harrelson's album. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's he's done some good old films. Uh, what else have you got on your honourable uh, mentions I've list? Got the crow. Yeah, you know, Brandon yeah, Lee. Yeah, Brandon Lee. Oh, he tragically Sad got again. shot with, mm. uh, was it the it's something to do with the blank, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we spoke about it in the last one, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, he, got, he was something to do with the bullet, wasn't it? It was wedged. I yeah, can't remember exactly. Like that. Obviously, something similar has happened recently, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah, yeah, so obviously, yeah, and then that, I think, obviously, delayed the film coming out and actually, you know, bizarre why actually helped the film public, publicly wise. Yeah, was uh, it going to be a shocker? Or? Well, no, I don't think it's a particular. I don't. I, it's not it was, let's well, let's say yeah. that hadn't happened. Yeah. Brandy, I don't think it would have been. Yeah, I think it would have probably almost, been a straight it? to video. Might have done yeah, something. Yeah. It wasn't brilliant, was it? But yeah. the obviously the he tragic some, the like, tragic accident made yeah. it. He did some like cheesy um, sort of like action films, didn't he? I can't remember. Yeah. Rap- rapid fire. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, rapid but, fire one and two. So yeah, yeah it wasn't. Yeah, they're the war spin liners aren't they yeah yes. well and the same thing happened on set of the other um, uh, movie I was going to talk about The Lion King yeah absolutely yeah. tragic tragic yeah. scenes there yeah I remember um, Simba Simba he got put away didn't he for Sim Simba yeah exactly he's, yeah, he's got the keys Sim- to his bimba <laughs> Mustafa. <laughs> Mustafa's got the keys to his bimba. Yeah. But Lion King, yeah, massive. Yeah, that was a, absolutely. That was the biggest grossing film a of the big year. Big fan or not so much? Um, no, not so. Much. It's all right, yeah. but yeah, I can, yeah, I, I I can must, give or take Lion yeah, King. I must, yeah, I've it's Disney not the one film. you'd go to. Not really. Stage no. shows, fabulous. Yeah, stuff, exactly. Yeah, yeah, stage the show. The film like, itself. And yeah. I don't actually mind the live action one. I don't know. It's something. Mm. It's all right. I'd like say, it's. Right. I didn't like that. I don't know. Well, yeah. Uh, it's a bit of bitchiness in your voice. Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. And I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the night. He, well, how, let's, let's bring he, him back. He's shaking his fist. At, uh, <laughs> he is. He's, 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 he's absolutely livid. I'm worried for my safety. <laughs> <laughs> we both are. Let's, let's bring him back from the edge. Sorry. How about we talk about Interview with a Vampire? Then? Ooh, yeah. Let's not. Oh, yeah. Jesus, no. I thought it was a boring film. I thought yeah, that would be up your straws. No, nah, I thought it was well, Thomas... totally over. It just had loads of big people in it. It was overrated. Yeah. And it was Pope. literally vampires just being interviewed. It was crap. And Brad, Bradley Pitt, wasn't it? As Bradley well. Pitt, Bradley Tom Cruise, Cruise I love, wasn't it? I love what you call him. His Thomas, Thomas Cruise. Thomas Cruise. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, Christiana Arna Arna Slater. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, what's his name? Banderos. What would you... Antonio. Oh, Mickey. Antonio. Banderos. <laughs> Mickey Banderos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and who's the young girl is in it? Oh, Kristen, Jane. Kristen Dunst. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think that was her first film, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, I, I think was, so. I can't right? see her being in many. It's one made up big anyway, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but did you like it? Did you like it? Well, Vampire? it's it's a it's a big film from the year. So yeah, it was big. I mean, yeah, I just, I, I, mean, just, I thought it was rubbish. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a particular fan of that genre anyway. Oh. But yeah. What was? I don't think I've watched it. Was it literally Slater's interviewing them like Jonathan Ross or something? He's interviewing, isn't it? Tom it goes, Cruise, it goes back, it's... doesn't it? So he's yeah. the oldest vampire sort oh, of guy, okay. and, he, and it's interviewing him through his, oh, okay. and he converts. Did I get to kill Christian Slater? Because that could be in the, in the time. They right at the very end, he's in his car, and I think he he turns him, doesn't he? And it starts turns him, and then he goes he, to the he beach. Says, I'll offer you. Pulls himself <laughs> down, and he goes. <laughs> Bobby 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 Freeman and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> There's a team of them. So they're all waiting there. It's a bit like um, what's that? program and they're waiting for people like die and they're just waiting for them to turn up it's a bit like that just, yeah, it's a good, yeah they're just them. waiting for people to turn up and God, join man. their volleyball, volleyball team <laughs> shit surely volleyball for vampires ain't yeah. too good it burst the ball they try and hit it and they can't actually do it it's just going yeah, through exactly. the they can give them suits to protect them well yeah that's that's the sensible yeah. thinking isn't it yeah. yeah slap on the UV 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop, pop on a hat, guys. That's what we're saying. <laughs> or, or, or a gimp suit. Apparently. <laughs> Julius Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got any more also rans or Cup, a couple? Oh, true got, lies. Oh, oh, we're celebrating. True lies was oh, okay. a good fun, a good fun action. True film. lies, good fun for the family. Arnie, yeah. yeah, I like that film. That's good. That yeah, kids love that one. Uh, the specialist. <laughs> you got Arnie. You got to have Stallone. Oh, was that that, that's that's Sharon, Sharon Stone, Stone well. and yeah. Yeah. weren't it a bit of a mucky shower scene yeah, in that the, always. It was Sharon Stone wasn't it she had to do always a mucky shower scene that time she had to she oh had to she had to yeah. it's in her contract it's almost it? written in yeah yeah, <laughs> is that, yeah he's a filth bag is that, he? is that the um, Dennis Penis thing He's, 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 do you remember Dennis Penis? Oh, the, um, yeah, the, uh, the character who used to interview people. That, oh, yeah, yeah. It was like, if it was uh, absolutely crap, would you keep your clothes on for, the, <laughs> yeah. for a part? Yeah. Oh, it's wait. that kind of thing, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, that's all I've got. Anyone else got anything? No. That's all good. Not as far as I remember. I, I'm sure there are other films out there, and uh, obviously listeners are more than welcome to uh, oh, keep, right. the, keep the conversation going on the uh, website and on the Instagram, but let's call that a wrap on films. Are you really into evil? Do you like sniffing another man's helmet? Don't be a stun. Join up to the Evil Knievel fan club today. All right, fellas. So we've done TV. We've done movies. Let's do the music of '94. It's a tough one. This, this is a tough one. This is going to, uh, yeah. This is this is cause the best conversation, so far. isn't it? Very, very much so. Um, should we go sort of a top three again? Then we'll talk about all the rest mm. of the also runs. Uh, we start with you with films, didn't we, Phil? So let's go, Richie D. Give us your top three. Uh, definitely maybe by Oasis um, yeah that was a great uh, record so many songs that is very close to being my number one um, so two so was that number three <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> yeah it is number three so, sorry I've lost it's myself very close so number to two being is numbers. even closer to being it's the yeah, alcohol it's, if anything it's <laughs> twice as much <laughs> Yeah, I, d- I don't know what I did that. Yeah, I've, yeah. I fucked it up. So that's all right. We'll it's start. my number. It's my, my number two. It's your number two. It's my number You're two. Changing it now. I'm changing it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the beauty Fuck of it. music, everybody. Um, it's it's so subjective. On mood yeah, I know. And absolutely. So subjective. <laughs> so subjective. <laughs> this it. Right. Uh, then I am going with uh, da, 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 Nirvana Unplugged. Does it count? Oh, absolutely, it counts. Because, because I, I am denied with this one as well. It, oh, yeah, so did I. Yeah, and if it wasn't for the other good albums that are on it, it would have easily made my top three. Yeah. But I, I left it out just because yeah. I wasn't sure. But so yeah. easily, this easily makes it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. This is my favourite Nirvana album. I just like every song on there, even the covers from like "Man Who Sold the World," mm-hmm. "Plateau." Um, even like the ones they do on a plane, the slower version. I, I just love that. I do love them on. And you, sorry, on um, never, uh, never mind. But I just, uh, I just love the way it's set up. I remember watching it. We'd we'd either watch it on TV, or we'd just, li- or I'd sit down and listen to the album. Best just, unplugged. Yeah, for me, yeah, yeah, personally. Exactly. But my favourite album, and this is one of my favourite albums of all time. To this day. To this day, and I think it's such an unrated album, and it never gets mentioned in any of the albums of 94, really. It is now. But it is now, um, and I think it's got some great songs in it, and uh, so much so that they released it the way they wanted to release it about uh, two years ago. I feel like I've... I've you know you want to guess yeah. in the way it was I, know the, I know he's going with it and I it's uh, it's give out but don't give up by primal screen and it's got jailbird it's got rocks it's like some kicking rock mm. anthems then you've got like some softer ballads like uh, cry myself blind and then you've got like an upbeat sort of call on me sort of uh, sort of tune Big Jet Plane, uh, Sad and Blue, uh, but it's from album to album, it's great. And there's even a song that I don't think he sings on, and it's um, a song by like a soul singer. But uh, just the whole album works, and it's a great album, the one they produced, mm. but the one that they how they was meant to produce it, because they got like famous producers who done in that from Nashville, and that they spent the whole time over there. They got big, loads of big producers to do it. Yeah. Like, it was something to do with because they were like bang on the booze and the drugs and it went to pot and I think they just rushed it in the end and they got some other producer to to finish it off and it just misses that authenticness 
but whether you like this one or the other one, it's just for me, it's just an amazing album, and I don't really think two people people really give it sort of too much thought. No, I like the singles that come mm. off it now. They were really good. They yeah, were the good. first sort of two or three yeah, tunes yeah. you mentioned, I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't tell you the album particularly. Yeah, that's not, what I mean. I don't think people really have I'm listened to it much. So, yeah. but for that reason, that yeah, but just personally, and there's a couple of other sort of um, honourable mentions. But um, yeah, we'll get to that. I'm sure. It's not a bad top three though, Richie. Would he? Not a bad yeah, top good, three at all. It was a good year. Got, yeah, I'm going to give that one. Give that one a listen as well. Uh, Phil, go on then. Well, I think I must have been doing a protest to the Britpop thing that was going on over here because I haven't picked a British album in my top three at all. Oh, They're all American you albums. You absolute zero. I, know, I, I do remember. I, know, I think I know what you're going for. Uh, I, I think I'm going to surprise you. I don't think. I know, I know one you of can't, them. You can't surprise can I guess, us. Can I guess one of them? Go on then. Grace by Jeff Buckley. No, no. Really? No. I've got I that thought, as an honourable mention. Oh, I thought he'd go with that. Oh, I've got okay, that as an honourable so. mention. Oh, and oh, I'm, in that I'm, case, we stand we stand. There'll corrected. be an even bigger right. surprise with you. Buckley. Oh, Buckley by the Princess Grace. <laughs> no, oh, no. no, Mrs. Buckley by <laughs> yeah, Buckley. Mrs. Buckley. <laughs> All right, let's let's enough tantalising. <laughs> right, so I'm going. Hit me with it. <laughs> Number three, Stone Temple Pilots, Purple Album. Wow. Oh, okay. He's brilliant. Absolutely Straight out of brilliant. Every track of his is awesome. Yeah. I, I Again, like that. this was kind of me. Yeah. I think filling the Nirvana void. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, you so very, they were very similar. That's heroin, isn't it? Yeah. Well, actually, the lead singer was off a big heroin addict, wasn't he? So. Yeah. Was uh, it, did he like a devil? Yeah, he's, he's yeah. dead now. He's Scott Wigman or something, isn't his name? But yeah, he was. Oh, okay. He went in prison for a few years. But yeah, that's a really good album. If, I'd recommend that if you'd like kind of like that grunge. Were they Seattle based as well? Or? Uh, I don't think they were. I can't remember where they were based, but no, I don't think they were Seattle. But no. really good album. Is that the album with the? Oh, I can't remember. The, what's the big hit from that album? The big album, the big song was off the first album, I what, think. What was that? Uh, <laughs> Plush, wasn't it? Was it Plush? Oh, okay. I but this this is like just as an album it's got more better well, songs okay. yeah a lot better songs are like the whole album's really good actually number two mm-hmm. is Green Day Dookie beautiful yeah again I could have chose that quite easily I mean, that was again it was just totally different basket case when it came out when it was great mm-hmm. album it's really mm-hmm. short albums weren't it like two three minute songs 30, like, proper punk minutes yeah. proper punk album just like bang like, yeah. that, was, that was brilliant in that and number one can anyone guess my number one Monster. See so that? That's where most of your surprise comes in. Because it yeah. isn't monster. So it doesn't even make your top three. It doesn't. No. Holy mackerel! I'll come to why. I will come to why it doesn't make my top three in a minute. Cause oh, it's Soul Provider by Michael Bolton. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. No, it's uh, Throwing Copper by Live. Oh yes. Unbelievable album. Yeah, I need selling the drama. No, I alone. That's, that's the one song I remember. Lightning like. crashes. I remember selling the drama. Ah, oh, it's a great album. You've got me. That was about. You must all know selling the drama. You'd know it. I'm sure I'd know it by hearing it as opposed yeah. to by the title or something. Yeah, but, yeah. So that was a brilliant album. I would never. Again, have, that was about their only good. The sec- the next one I did was all right, but then they just went off. Yeah, disappeared. That was so. it. Uh, it actually got voted um, album of the year by Rolling Stone magazine. Did they? Yeah, okay. Really good album. Oh, so you just went with the obvious then? Sure. <laughs> no, it was it was good. So yeah, they're my three ones. Monster, I do like I do love Monster. Yeah, but um, it's it's not my favourite REM. Mean, it probably doesn't even make my top top five. But well, um, they have got quite a yeah, catch. That's what I mean for their album, standards. Yeah. It's still a good album. Yeah, and my I'll, my final trilogy of I remember where I was moments. This this is where we hit this it. This is okay. it. With, uh, so God, I was sitting down. You got pitch. You you. I mean, I know you're all thinking. When is he going to mention the third? Where was our moment? Absolutely. You was particularly... <laughs> not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, was, I've been inching So picture yourself. Seat. It's summer of 94. It's a nice, nice, hot, sunny day. Oh, yeah. I'm pinching myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your idol was just... Your music idol has just died a couple of months before. You're trying to fill this void okay. of... MC Hammer's what dead. Is, yeah, MC what, Hammer's is gonna, dead. <laughs> what is going to fill this musical void? Mm. Radio comes on, doesn't even introduce the song. The intro of What's the Frequency Kenneth comes on. Yeah. Voice yeah. comes on. I am blown away. I'm like, wow. Can't understand a fucking word he's saying. It's complete nonsense, apart from What's the Frequency Kenneth. Mm. Uh, and then, yep, at the end of it, DJ goes, that's the new single from R.E.M., What's yeah. the Frequency Kenneth. I went home. I think I like watched the video, which is even better. 
bought the album, and then yeah, that whole it's just, that was my introduction to Aria. The and the whole pretty crap. It's, back just, it's just him in a t shirt. Oh, no, it's great. It's a thing. great video, yeah. Is it just, it's just him in the band. Yeah, yeah they're all, they're all well, on the yeah, back set, all the strobe lighting. Yeah, and he doesn't it's like being a Mr. Bailey's. At the no, it's a good school. video, though. He's, he's good. Okay. So the way it's all shot and that. And actually, for about a minute, you don't see because at, at the time, I didn't know all this, obviously, because I wasn't into REM, but this is when he shaved his head. Obviously, mm. before that, he didn't. There was a lot of rumours going around of him having AIDS, wasn't there? And oh, okay. stuff like that. And, yeah. um, but he had shaved his head. And yeah. the, the, the video for about he a shaved first. Shaved his head? Shaved his head. Yeah. Shaved his hair. Head, head. Yeah, uh, but you, see, you don't. You just see. You just see the, um, bottom, <laughs> half, the um, bottom half. You see the bottom half of him for about a minute. You don't oh, do okay. it, and then yeah. he, he suddenly does these weird moves, and then you see him bald and stuff like that. So oh, okay. it was oh. the first reveal of the new he had the look, star Michael Stipe. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. And that's my. I remember where it was moment. My introduction to REM. But yeah, so wow. Then my three anyway, and I, yeah, and, but and I, the surprise is Arian yeah. didn't make my top three. That is wow, a okay. surprise, and Jeff Buckley, and Jeff Buckley, yeah, wow. yeah. That is an honourable mention. I've got that down. There, there's loads here. Isn't there's there? an awful lot to, to yeah pick apart after we've um, oh, we've done it. So I'll I'll run you I'll run you through my three a little bit, a bit more. Um, what Brit Pop? Brit Poppy, which was kind of my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah my definitely thing. got into it. Um, so number three, um, whilst. I wasn't the biggest fan of Blur. Did enjoy a bit of Park Life. Yeah, it's a, it was um, a great album. There's some cracking tunes on there. It's oh. Girls and Boys, it's Park Life at the end of a century, this to the end. Park Life, fair play. Uh, number two, you've already touched on uh, Green Day and Dookie, which I absolutely loved. So, yeah, 39 minutes of pure pop. That was your punk punk choice nonsense. the other night, was it? Or, it was. Yeah. Like my favourite song, I said it was Dookie. Yes, the, the album, album was Dookie. It? I loved Basket, yeah. Basket yeah. Case yeah. as a yeah. tune. Yeah. It just like you say, the, everything's around two, three minutes. Yeah, mm. it's great. And you've got just some amazing tunes. So, Basket Case was fad, fabulous. You've got Long View, When I Come Around, Welcome mm. to Paradise. Yeah, Welcome to Paradise. I mean, it's it's just, I was listening singer. to it just before I came out because yeah. it's still, still it's really a great good. Album, yeah. It's compact, it's concise, it's beautiful. The second album wasn't too bad, was it? Wasn't too this bad. was their second album. This is their third one. Oh, was it so third? Nim- oh, okay. Nimrod and bits and pieces. Yeah. But yeah, this was the the one that kind of broke them, and especially over here. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Fabulous album, and it would normally be number one, except for the emergence of um, a little band called Oasis. Yes, that kind of worked for me. Oh, mate, it's so, amazing. Yeah, mate. Definitely, it definitely may be one of the best debut albums mm. of all time. I mean, it's just ridiculous. When you think about the the singles that are on it, and you've got like Supersonic, Cigarettes and Alcohol, Live Forever, uh, and Shaker Maker, which wasn't the greatest single, no. but out of the 11, probably the weaker tune. But then you've got things like Rock and Roll Star, Dixie's Dinner, Married with Children. Children yeah. See, I preferred, just... I preferred uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory. Did you? Yeah. Oh, not for me. No. Yeah. no I, just, I mean, I wasn't, I, like a, I wasn't a big Oasis fan. I'd take this I like album. The still not. Yeah. Yeah. It it's just the growling team. and the just yeah. pure attitude and swag. And it's all about trying to make better lives for themselves. Yeah. So the whole, the opening track is Rock and Roll Star and it's literally about like, yeah, no you don't have to have this shitty job and just go for it. And yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, that's it's what just... it was. It captured the moment. Of, I just felt a little bit. It was it was great, but it's still like a bit commercial. What's the story? Yeah, but it's, yes, I don't yeah, know, but, it's, but the fact that they're telling you that, knowing what like they're not like now, sounds a bit hypocritical. Well, they're still because if they were but, humble people. I could, I could kind of jump on board with that, but they're just, yeah, but they're still that. But I suppose you've got to yeah dress for the job you want. Yeah, but then, then they just go too far. Then they just got too big for their boots. Oh, they just became yeah. by the end of it, self obsessed with themselves. By the end of it, I'm just pretty sure they'd always be like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Really and like I, I think that's what I don't like about them. I think right. that's what puts me off. What the arrogance? Yeah, yeah. It, they it went. And I know. I get it in rock and roll, but it, it just yeah. went too far. I mean, I just there's, right. a, there's a weird thing because there was that north and south divide thing as well between Blur and Oasis. Mm. Yeah, obviously, yeah. we're from just around the corner from from yeah. Blurville, aren't we? Really, so we should have been. That way, but I just found them a bit no, too arty and pretentious. Yeah, I found them mm. a bit wet. Blur. Yeah, I, li- I liked I liked them certain songs, but I just found them. Yeah, I'd I'd always venture towards the the, the yeah. Manc unions, but yeah, it was just so when it comes to the later uh, battle of the bands. Oh well, no, he was all over always. I was all over like a tramp on chips, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was just when. Because we were mentioning obviously going to like pubs and just starting to creep in, so jukeboxes were massive back then. So mm. it would literally be on a 
you couldn't literally go yeah. more than half hour without hearing something from that. Well, oh, it was huge. Yeah, it, they were it was, ma- it was everywhere. everywhere. Well, the B sides, and it, I think it's even on a. Ja- I think it's the Japanese export. You've got whatever is actually whatever is my favourite Oasis song. Yeah, I love that. That's it's great. beautiful. Yeah. And so then you got sad song and a couple of others that don't make it onto the the UK stuff. Right, but, but some... just all of their B sides are, are so good because they they were on um they were on the word. Very late night. That was their first UK yeah. appearance. I remember oh, okay. seeing it when I came back from yeah. sort of night out. I, I was just like, like, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, something, something. Did they talk to Terry Christian or purely just the music at the music, end? And okay. People just went for it because there's only about fifty people in well, the audience. Well, they live forever. Uh, no, they were doing rock and roll star. Oh. Rock and roll star. Yeah, so it's a great. So I always remember. Li- was live forever the first single? First single was Supersonic. Mm. Oh, okay. That's a great Sonic, which is a fabulous. I think I just live forever. Always remember like being on the chart show. Seeing that, and that was probably and my did, first. Did Supersonic, Shaker Maker, then they did Live Forever. No, sorry, Cigarettes and Alcohol, then Live Forever. Yeah, so it's, it's a great album. Like I say, it's, um, I don't know, it's, I could have easily chose it as my number one, but that's. It's an, it's an yeah. easy choice to go for, but it, it, yeah, it definitely worked for me. And there's a reason for that, though, isn't there? Indeed, mm. indeed. Yeah, it just made that last year of kind of school quite, quite special. Mm. Yeah. Well, the summer, certainly, because it was slightly yeah. later, wasn't it? But yeah, it was that kind of. And then it was a soundtrack through through college. Yeah. So yeah, fabulous stuff. Uh, the also rans that we've kind of mentioned. So we've touched on Monster from your good self. Mm-hmm. Nirvana Unplugged was obviously on mine. His and Hers by Pulp. Yeah. Oh, okay. Crept yeah. out there as yeah. well. So yeah, there's some good singles. There there's some good singles. Sway. Again, they're quite yeah. like arty and. Yeah, there were the next, the like next album was the yeah the babies, babies and yeah, I like babies, do you remember yeah. the first time? Yes, yeah. So there's some oh, absolute yeah, okay. crackers the on there as well. The next album was the best, the, obviously yeah, the, the one that made them. Different yeah, class, yeah. but yeah, this was very very good as well. Uh, yeah. Other honourable mentions from you guys? Yeah, I've got one. Phil, you got one. Yeah, go on, you go um, first. I've got undressing by the lazy vegans. <laughs> It can, I mean, sometimes I just don't want to ask him. Um, I've got um, and some of the standout songs on there. Uh, uh, tofu. Oh, he's, he's carrying on. Uh, he's carrying on with it. Uh, tofu, do you think you are? Uh, Was that not the uh, Spice Girls? Uh, a little bit. They, there's kind of debate on that. Where who, okay. who stole from who? Yeah. Uh, um, Luke Warm Quorn <laughs> is one of the that, that, that used to get oh, the people jumping. That was in yeah, the that, was the, that was the floor that was the floor mosh pit one. Mosh yeah. pit, yeah. but but you say Luke Warm Quorn was a crowd favourite. She's fucking lentil. <laughs> <laughs> was that mate? <laughs> That was the one that broke them in the US. Yeah, yeah. That was the number one. That was that was that tearjerker. <laughs> that was that was the Christmas number one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the one where they all hide to hold the lighters at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's, She's fucking, fucking lentil. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Chick piece of chance. Chick piece <laughs> was, uh, yeah, their, their anthem good. for peace, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, right, Phil, help us out. Give us, uh, give us, well, give us something to. Uh, work I don't with. know why that wasn't number one on all about lists. I mean, I felt like it was just pipped. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got Weezer Blue Album. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that was, that really good. Um, Nine Inch Nails. Oh, yeah. Downward Spiral, obviously things up closer, and yeah. it's got hurt, hurt on that as well. Mm. Obviously, okay. before John Johnny Cash made oh, it. Yeah, John, <laughs> John was well, Elephant Man. Jeff Buckley Grace. <laughs> the alien comes out. His oh, you go out. Jeff Buckley Grace, obviously. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Great. Soundgarden, Super Unknown. Oh, Fuck. Fuck. This is dark. Soundgarden, great, yeah. is that the one with Black Hole Sun? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super okay. Unknown. Yeah, and that's really brilliant. Good. you got Cranberries, No Need to Argue. Oh, yeah. that was a fabulous yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, like Zombie in that one. Sway, yes. Dogman Star. Dogman Star. Yes. So that's the one where they broke up, wasn't it? Halfway through the writing of it. So oh, was it really? Butler yeah. just. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, they went no, mad. Yeah, he went silent, didn't he? Yeah. Because yeah, you had that like, McCullen and back. Butler, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yes. Again, yeah. solicitors, didn't it? Like, even that or fags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But Lambert and Butler, but it was McCallum and Butler. Yeah. Well, yeah, Just cigarettes. Cheap, cheap cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the implication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, course yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> Uh, moving swiftly um, on. Uh, and just let's... one more. Go on. You, it probably won't be known to many people. But therapy, trouble gun. I used oh, to yeah. like that. Is that the one with the partially naked bloke on the front? Yeah, cover? putting his head in a dustbin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like eating out of a dustbin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's about it for me, really. But yeah, very good. 
and they're obviously the ones you mentioned. There's some amazing, yeah, some amazing albums. So there was music for the Jilted Generation as well mm-hmm. by Prodigy. Yeah. Um, I had Second Coming on the Stone Roses. Yeah, again. There's some great songs yeah. on it, but maybe not as an yeah, album. It's, it's just a, a letdown because of what they produced on the yeah. first album. Yeah, it's, it's just, that tricky second well, one. Well, considering it? half of it was to do with like Ian Brown and John Squires falling out, John mm. Squire was banging to the coke, and um, yeah, it was just a bit of a, a bit of a shame because they was going down the route of Fool's Gold. So they okay. was trying to make it a more funky album, but then they took up to about, I think it's about four or five years. They took it was a to very long it. time between, wasn't it? Yeah. And it just Momentum sort of, gone. Yeah, like I say, there's like like some good songs on there, but it's just a bit of a... Yeah, absolutely. Average one. I also had down um, Crazy Sexy Cool by TLC. I remember that. Yeah, oh out. yeah. It was really yeah. nice. Waterfalls? Well, no, well, you know your Coco Heart moment? Yeah. Oh, hello. You know, with Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls? Yeah. Do you think, think he was about Jason Waterfalls? Jason Waterfalls, a waterfall called Jason. <laughs> Don't go Jason Waterfalls. Don't go, go Jason. Where, was, where was he going? Was it Scrubs you, as well? Imagine, yeah, no, Scrubs. imagine his mum. Jason Waterfalls. Where do you think you're going? I'm not Get chasing after here. you. Don't I'm not go. chasing you. Don't go, Jason Stick Waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the ones that you used to. <laughs> That's Get lovely. Back. <laughs> oh, it's really made me chuckle. Um, oh dear me! I can't Where listen to that song now without Jason. I'll bet you can't. Yeah, it. absolutely. <laughs> Just, I wonder what Jason's doing now. Uh, I've got one more for you. Um, I think um, Promenade by the Divine Comedy was out this year as well. Oh, yeah, we was could. it really? Oh, nice. Was it really? Because we, we enjoyed a bit of Divine yeah, Comedy. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. ones are on what? that? Yeah. Well, that is the question. I've written down <laughs> oh, Promenade. Well, actually, Montgomery. I was hoping I that one of you two might. It's just before their big one is the next one, something for the weekend. And yes, so Promenade which had Frog be... Princess and all those kind of things. Yeah, there, right? so Promenade stuff like the Summer House and all stuff like that. Okay. Your, um, I think it's oh, your daddy's car or something. It's the, That's the chap. There's a lot of ones like that. Um, what's the one I'm in love with? It's summertime, maybe? It's... Um, I'll, Pollinating for the it's, it's a really random yeah, yeah. thing and it's um, but you're right the, the following the following album was the one that kind of really yeah. cracked on wasn't it and gave us the yeah I love uh, Divine Comedy again probably and especially because yeah. it was used obviously in uh, Father, Father Ted, Ted and stuff yeah. as well it's, like, it's songs of love isn't it yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah yeah great one yeah, and Alfie Very as well great. like just oh, singing a song belter, isn't it? about like a Michael Caine film you know magic so, what more do works, you need yeah. what more do you need well Good work on the music, chaps. Mm. Yeah. Inspired, yeah, inspired it's choices. It's, um, yeah, if you haven't listened to any of those albums, definitely recommend going out and trying a few. Especially Undressing by the Lazy Vegans. Yeah. Especially yeah. Undressing by the Lazy Vegans. Yeah. You got your vouchers, your vouchers, the vouchers, your vouchers, the vouchers. Get your vouchers, the vouchers. Right now. Okay, gents, uh, venturing towards the end of 1994 now, so let's take a look into the post bag and email bank and see what the viewers have been talking about. we we'll have to create a jingle for this. We should, shouldn't we? Do you want to um, should do it now? venture something? Yeah, what we're going to call it? Letters and emails. That's pretty There we go, we've got it. <laughs> <Don't stand anymore. laughs> yeah, just one. Take it. It's just one, just one take. Um, okay, so it's time for letters and emails. <laughs> you have to remember that, like, next time. Yeah, exactly. Be, I mean, that's burnt into my brain now, so... Uh, that's like, it's your letters from TFI Friday. Oh, that was delightful, wasn't it? Mm. And Reef did it. Yeah, exactly. That was yeah. great. Can we get Reef? We I can't afford we can, Reef. Yeah. No, it's, turns out it's just me. <laughs> so. It's your letters. <laughs> that was more grief <laughs> than was grief. Or, it was Keith. Keith. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Can you do it again? Oh, wow. Hate your letters. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> before we disappear Adjust. into a, a world of potential jingles, let's... Uh, Adjust your headphones, people. <laughs> let's rattle on. Good job we weren't too close to those mics. Uh, okay, so we've got something here from Jason who says, Hi, gents. Loving the podcast. Keep up the good work. In episode one, you mentioned playing Pass the Polo and to wait until you get to the episode talking about 92 where you joked that things will really heat up, yet nothing was mentioned. Can you please explain the concept of Pass the Polo? Um, Phil, I think you were the deviant that mentioned mm, polos. Yeah, members past the pattern, do, you wanna, do you want to talk us through the, uh, yeah, the, the, the general, pretty, um, general rules? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds much better than what it was. So it was, it was a game where... I suppose it was a, a way of trying to get close to the 
Females. That sounds creepy. F- females. <laughs> that sounds Same like creepy. You sound like the dad from uh, uh, Friday Night Dinner. <laughs> females. So obviously, you just sat round in a circle with a polo <laughs> mint. And you'd put it like just the one polo mint with one polo mint, and you'd put it why are you like, in, bet- why are you in between your teeth, teeth. <laughs> in between your teeth, yeah. Right. So, so poking out. So but, you're not sucking it. No, no. Right, so you okay. did you just put it in between your teeth, and yeah. then you obviously oh, okay. go go to you do woman boy, woman boy, woman boy, <laughs> girl boy, girl okay. boy. Yeah. And then you would kind How of old are these they, women? they would have to take the polo out of their your mouth. Okay. So you it was a kind of a way of trying to do a cheap kiss, but you never did. All you done was. Clatter teeth, Could smash teeth, in, and then yeah. at that age, you pretty much had braces as well. I was so say, you just like it was wow. like metal or metal or Spark, it was really flu. it was yeah. a really crap <laughs> game. But so, but yeah, everyone used to. Oof. It was kind of a way of thinking you'd get a kiss from a girl, but you didn't. You just clattered teeth. So, so it should have been called smashed, smashed uh, enamel or something. Smashed, yeah, yeah, rather than yeah. Past, yeah. So, past but, the polo. I wouldn't recommend playing it, but it was something that went on. Well, it, according to myself and Dell. It didn't. It but didn't. According no. to you, it you never played so. past the pilot. No, don't be silly. No, I wasn't even. Not. I wasn't even in that league, Phil. No, I wasn't allowed in that room. I can't believe you were playing it, given that you know you. Two years later, you were sitting. I played under the Richmond Bridge. Bridge. I remember playing the Richmond Bridge once with a <laughs> Billy Goat with a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one ogre, two it? goats, and you. A yeah. packet of polos. Yeah. I'll let you have the packing in. Uh, we'll we'll be passing your details to the RSPCA. Was, All right, let's that trip trapping. <laughs> let's see what else we've got in the mm. letters bag. That's, that's changed. It has. Isn't it? I, I've, already, I've already forgotten it. Keith, do the do the jingle. <laughs> it's your letters. <laughs> so we move on. We've got another one. Okay, uh, Tom from Sussex. Mm. Are the Willy Bum Bums a real band? Um, Del, you brought us the attention of these guys. Wow, that's outrageous. Did they did they tour with um the what the, the, the lazy the, vegans? The lazy vegans and, yeah. and dental hygiene, yeah. It's yeah. all on the same uh, same what, bill. What a bill. We could have a festival. Is, yeah. We could have a festival coming up soon. You literally are having a festival. Yeah. <laughs> You're behind the mics. <laughs> We're having a great yeah. time. That's like saying I don't know. Yeah, of course that sounds not. similar oh, to like... when you say there's a party in my pants and you're invited. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a, a festival going on by the mics. <laughs> <laughs> Camping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if you want uh, tickets to the Willie Bumfuckers Dental Hygiene or the Lazy Vegans, uh, please uh, email us in and maybe we'll run a competition. Um, <laughs> this could be a whole new, like, um, it's a revenue stream. Spinal tap thing. <laughs> yeah, it could it's be. what it is. It's a spinal revenue stream. crap. <laughs> 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 All right, well, hopefully that answered your question, Tom. Uh, we've got some more appearing in the emails. Um, grief, do the jingle. It's your letters. Thank you very much. Um, okay, um, Phil, question specifically for your good self, but uh, feel free to chime in, Dale. Do you have any advice with the ladies? This is for Chip from New York, Just international viewer. Treat them well. You know, look says, after them. Says the guy that dumped them after getting together with his <laughs> yeah. mates. Yeah, but that didn't work out for me, did it? They went down the yeah. shops, got some bits, <laughs> and came back single. So and, who, and I learnt my lesson. So who would be your 90s love hero, Phil? Demi Moore, wouldn't it? No, as in, sort of, on like a male perspective, as in getting the lanes. Like a role model. Oh, role right, model. okay. What, like any what, actor or like famous person? Or, yeah, well, I mean, you can, yeah, you can, you can oh, say Dale if you want. Could be Terry Christian if you want. Who was the person to draw em, the ladies? Emulate, yeah. Ooh, Paul know. Nolan, for me. Yeah, Paul cool. Nolan, he had a body of work. Yeah. 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 Hearts and minds broken all over the shop. Yeah. <laughs> big, big shout to Nolan. <laughs> the Pinos. Who's you? The Pinos. <laughs> <laughs> we have known him since I've known him since I was four and he's never been called that the, before the he but will from be from now, now on, on. Pinos big Chris shout out the Pinos does <laughs> well who'd you go for Dom? Uh, oh I reckon if you could build a a Costner a Andy Garcia oh he's going for a hybrid um, this is the untouchable is he going for the whole one Sean Connery <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be like Kaiser Soze or something. So, yeah. Yeah. I want to take the bits of him. Uh, oh, I don't know. Shabba ranks. Which which bit of each of them are you using? Yeah. Well, it's like, uh, it's, like that post, it's like that poster boy thing where yeah. you, you know you yeah. cut them up and making different parts of them. 
Yeah, I reckon we'll Like a have... weird science we're almost doing here. Yeah. We're using Kevin Costner's butt, I presume. Yeah, Costner's butt. Garcia's face. And Shabaranx's ability to talk to the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Well, in a creepy way. Yeah. But I reckon with Garcia's face, he could get away with get it. Get away with it, yeah. And then he could just be as creepy as he wants. And then just he'd just turn around and show off his Kevin Costner butt. Bingo. There you go. Got it from all angles. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, well, Pinoz. 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 Pure Pinos. and simple. Done. In, out, done. That's the way, <laughs> that's the way he taught me. Uh, moving on. Um, Phil, what's the weirdest thing you've been asked to do with Lego? That's from Michael Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taking you, you back, taking you, you back there, Phil. No? <laughs> don't don't answer that one, no. He's pleading the fifth. Okay, we, we move yeah. on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How to, I, um, I could I could answer it, but I don't know where we go with it. So. What is the? What does it involve? Pools? Probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Dale, in that case, that case, mm. got a question for yourself from yeah, uh, sure. Tim mm. from Tunbridge Wells. He says, "What qualifications do I need to become a beekeeper?" Oh, you need your GMBQ in honeysuckle. Yeah. You need your wing, your, your golden wings. Yeah, yeah. And you need, um, well, beekeeping, did he say? Yes. So did it, oh. To become a beekeeper. Keeper, like, not a goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. For a team wow. of beans. For a team of beans. Team of beans. <laughs> <laughs> for a team of bees. Um, Maybe it is, yeah. Just a big pair of gloves then, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big pair of gloves, yeah. Yeah, and a big. lovely comb. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Splendid. Final question in that case, chaps. This is for all. What year would you revisit from the 90s? As I can't remember, a bloody thing. And that's from Mr. Allen, our old English teacher. <laughs> uh, Del, what year would you go with? I would probably go the year that I put my head through John Fisk's window. <laughs> John Fisk. Uh, it's the, it's the, the estate agent that was down in Tarfoot. Um Possibly, yeah, possibly. So, yeah. are we saying go back and change a, a moment in time? Mm. Well, we'd have to ask Mr. Or we're just going back and reading like, it. Yeah, yeah, we're just going I, back and I really just it. sort of disclose something to like Essex Police. Poss- <laughs> possibly so. Secret. Possibly so. We'll, we'll, we'll bleep what we can, but yeah. there's no coming back from that. Uh, I reckon, yeah, just a, a top year of the decade then, maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, it's it's got to be 95, 96, that yeah, time. 96, now, 96. Be- because they're both in the future, we can't obviously give away reasons why. Yeah. It gives you a reason to come back, listeners. That's yeah, for yeah. sure. I'd say 95. After hearing the nonsense we've gone through in 90 to 94, and yes. they're not the favourite years, there's got to be saying pretty good in 95 or 96. Mm, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Nice, good way to uh, wrap the questions. But keep them coming in. Uh, obviously, we've got the email address, info at notfaultyjustblank.com, and you can hit us up on Instagram as well. Um, how, do you, how do you make a whole pack of one gums last all night? So there we go, fellas. 1994. Bloody Nora, what a year. Uh, 95 has certainly got a lot to live up to. I don't know if you agree with that. but I, I think it might top it, though. Well, I'm, I'm, There's a I'm, statement. I'm, I'm, that is yeah. a statement. I mean, 94 was good, but I'm getting excited you for the years coming up. He really is. We can yeah, see we he's wearing can. particularly tight trousers this yeah, evening. excited. We can see a full-on robot, shall we? There very much is. <laughs> so uh, before that blows, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you don't want to be. It's a very small studio. Yeah, yeah. It's a- We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Uh, you know that scene at the end of Ghostbusters? <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> no don't, marshmallow, Matt. don't cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? Are we too late? I think we might be. Uh, Rich, Phil, it's been a pleasure as always. Always good chatting with you. Enjoy it? Yes, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, you been too, good. Been good. yeah it's been a good year. Powerful. But let's think about 95. Right, we're off to do some research, viewers. Keep the questions coming in. You know where to find us. Instagram and uh, email. But until next time, tatty bye. It's your letters. (laughs) See you.